Rich Bitch, I love you. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> and everybody in the chat that feels unloved, Rich Mitch, and I love you as well. Is that right, Rich Mitch? That's right. That's exactly right. All the people that feel unloved and unworthy, how much we love them. And we, we appreciate their lots. company. We do. How have you been? I've, uh, I've been all right, actually. Um, I've had a good day. I, I, I understand you've had a very good day. Tell us what you got right off the bat. We want to know. Um, right. Um, so... <laughs> no, for real. How's the back? How's... How's the family? How's how's life? My back's in? okay. My back's not back's not as pledge, bad as it. Pledge to the quack pack. Pack. That's right. Pledge to the quack pack. That's right. Oh heavens! Drop your scent of the day in the comments. So, like the video. Let's get the algorithm like, going. Like take like, the algorithm still. Hi Taffy. Hi Jack Dean. Jack Dean sending duck love. Hi, Floral oh. Notes. Who is Floral Notes? I feel like I should know Lily. them. Are they a YouTuber? Lily. Oh, Audrey Jane's awake. Audrey Jane is here. Audrey Jane is awake. Amazing. I thought I saw Jesus. Zhao somewhere. Zhao is here somewhere. I thought I saw him. Milo is here earlier. He's gone now. I haven't seen him. Um, he's gone. Bernard in a while. He released a video today um, about uh, Carthusia, uh, the brand. So okay. I don't know much about the brand. I don't know much about them, but if you watch that video, you'll probably learn something. Okay, um, sure. I was still here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Is Monday a holiday in the UK? We have a, 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 a holiday on Monday. Uh, possibly, yes. The last Monday in May. Yeah, I think it is, actually. Lily is a beautiful mystery. Hey, Li I love mysteries. Hi, Tara. Audrey Jane wants to get tips on some dogging. <laughs> you know, I had a very interesting conversation with a viewer after last night's live stream about ducks really? and how ducks mate. And I had no idea because I was over always under the assumption that ducks found a partner and mated with that partner for life. And it was this very beautiful, romantic relationship. It's nothing like that at all at all. After he explained really? what it was, I went on YouTube. And if you Google, like, Google YouTube search ducks mating. I'm not it's doing not, that. It's not you pretty. If, if those mallards were men, they'd be in jail. It is. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's totally unethical. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> unethical ducks. Unethical ducks. Not the first unethical duck. No, maybe, it's, maybe it's swans that have a partner for life. Ollie boy, is it? Ravens do. Ravens, ravens, have a, ravens have a partner for life. Cats mating is horrible. Cats probably mate with brothers and sisters. Cats are, cats are dirty animals. Hello, perverts. You must be speaking to oh. us. Yes, I suspect they are. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take some parts out of them. Excuse me. So, uh, have, you bought, have you bought anything today? Anything arrived today? You know, I got some email notifications saying I have uh, from Canada Post saying I got a tracking number. I don't know what it is. The is only thing I heard again? was through uh, uh, Rudy, but he sends UPS, but not and not Canada Post. 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 I went to go Post. feed the ducks last night, and I had uh, <clears throat> I had like ducks and the geese, and I had the little is it goslings, gooseling Ryan goslings eating out of my hand. Like and uh, I sent a, a like a little video to my mom, and she's like, "Oh my god, it's so cute! Yay! Like that's awesome!" 
And then at work today, as well. Yeah. 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 She sent me a text with a picture and it was just like a bowl of rice. The picture was a bowl of rice. And I was like, what's this? And she's like, for your ducks, come and get it. She had cooked <laughs> rice for me to go and feed the ducks and the geese. That was cute. Outrageous. Yeah. It looked like you'd cooked the rice for too long. It was over. It was oversaturated. It was so sticky. Yeah. You know why? Because I was cooking it while I was live streaming. But you know what? The point is they got fed. They got fed. The ducks were fed. I wonder if they'll remember you now. I think the older ones do because they come to me and they, they kind of sit there and they, they're expecting a handout. Almost like, you know, I don't want to say it, but... <laughs> Almost like, um, almost like YouTubers with fragrances. No, no, almost like a homeless person, right? They're just standing there waiting for you. <laughs> like to YouTubers with fragrances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the um, same thing. Where, where, where's Duncan? He might want uh, Tara's pants or something. She just got back That's from her run. She might want pants because she's got back from her run. Yeah, usually like when she's on her uh, her bike or something, he wants her seat. A goose stole a chalk ice off uh, Audrey Jane when she was little. That was that was for me. I sent him to do that. Chalk ice. A what chalk that, like ice. Ice cream. It's like yeah, it's like an ice cream with chocolate around it. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it was nice. They're still are nice, I imagine, if you eat them now. But uh. I had a big day. Tell us about your. How was your steak? Uh, the steak was sensational. Um, no, absolutely not bloody. No, I have my. I had my medium. That's how they recommended the. Uh, I got a. Um, I got a T-bone. Was it a? Was it a ribeye? No, it was a T-bone. It was a t sixteen ounce T-bone. Didn't look like a um, T-bone. It looked like a sirloin or something. You sent me a picture. I don't think it was a sirloin. It was about. It was the best part of an inch thick. It was fucking huge. <laughs> what was the celebration? Was there something going on specifically? I'll tell you what the celebration was. Monday was the fit, like Monday, the lifting of the restrictions where you could like you're allowed to eat inside again. Ah. Um. So I was like, I said to me mate, I was like, we're going for steak. Yes, that that is the steak. Uh, high steaks. Um. Shout out to Sterling. Steaks. Shout out to the steaks. That's right. Audrey's right, and my nan used to have chocolate ice in her freezer. That's right. All right, so um, just celebrating the opening of... I was just celebrating the opening of the country, really. Um, but I wasn't really celebrating. I could go for a steak whenever. Um, but I went I went today. Um, going to a different restaurant next week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go around all the different restaurants in town, oh. just because I can now. Um, <laughs> So, hey y'all. Um, hills. Hey hills. Hi hills. Hi hills. Where's hey. Yara? Is she far behind? <laughs> Not far behind. She's close behind. Um, the what was I going to say? So when I woke up this morning, I was walking by the postman. The postman delivered a pot. I got. I bought a bag up of um, Royal Oud. So oh, I got a hundred. I, like I got a hundred. Story just the other day. Yeah, so uh, yeah, but I actually received it today. Okay. Um, so I received it today, and that was nice. And then what did I do? And then we went for a steak, and then I decided to go to a department store. And I said to the department store, um, oh, like, I just went in, and I was like, oh, I wanted a candle, so I got a dip tea candle, um, the number 34 candle which I've actually got burning at the minute. It's lovely. Um, What's for dinner, Anna? After I got my after I got my candle, right, I went over to Dior and I was like, oh, um, what's going on? with? Have you got any big bottles of Fev Delicious? And they were like, no, we've only got two 125 milliliter bottles because it's been discontinued. And I was like, has it really? And they were like, they were like, oh, we've got this one that's on like the counter. It hasn't got a box, so like the box, like the box was damaged, so we've just got it sitting on the counter. 
was and, it, a uh, it was a full or, or a full presentation? No, it was, it was no, it was just it was it was like a, it was like a normal bottle for sale, right? But what had happened is the box had been damaged, and the uh, they'd taken it out of the box and they just had it on the stand. And uh, she was like, "Oh, the like the manager was like, oh, we've got this." And then one of the managers of the department store, so that was like a, the manager, the Dior manager of the Dior boutique, was talking to us. And then one of the managers from the actual department store came over and asked for a word with the manager. And they were talking for ages, right? And I was standing there like a fucking like an idiot because I wanted, I was gonna, I was gonna try and bid her on this massive bottle, this four hundred and fifty mil bottle without a box. And I was like looking at it, she caught me eye, right? And when the when the other manager when like the manager of the store looked away, she looked at us and she was like, "Just wait a minute," and winked at us, right? So I went and sat away. I went and sat down, right? And she came over after the last had gone away, and she was like, "Oh, like I, like I can't, like I'm not allowed like to do this." But um, what we'll do is we'll sell you at half price because you're like such a good punter and you're uh, you're such a good punter and you're um, you're always here and I know I can trust you. So she sold us it she sold us a 450 milliliter bottle of uh, Feb delicious wow uh, for, like half, a for half price yeah like like for half price um and it's a 2015 bottle so it's pre reformulation so i'm absolutely over the moon i got one half price pre reformulation so they're obviously well aware of who you are and they know about your desire and lust for perfume that's right I was lusting after one of the girls who worked there as well because it was hot as fuck. Oh, shite. That's one of the things about fucking the, the perfume girls. So like punter, a lot of them punter means customer. I kind of wondered about that too. Yeah. I'm a good punter. So what? tell us, what do you think of Fev now, like after yesterday's conversation when you called it watery? Right. The sample they gave me was from a, from a bottle Right, and the bottle was pre two thousand and it was post two thousand and eighteen. This one is from two thousand and fifteen, and it's much thicker. The juice is like you, you know you were saying, you know you were saying, um, like you thought it was gloopy and sticky and runny and like all of that, right? I get that with it now, but the new the one they sent me, the, the, the little sample they gave me, was absolutely fun. like it was watery, right? It was crap. Okay. Um, the one I've got, this big bottle, like I'm looking, like I'm comparing the colours of the juice, and like that, like one of them is like a rich amber, red, like a red amber colour. Yeah. And the the one from the samples, like, like, like as if they've literally just put water in it. Yeah. So like when I mix it, it. When I called it amber, amber and sandalwoody last night, you thought you you made it seem like I was crazy. Yeah, yeah, compared to the one I've got, the one in the sample, right, is nothing like what you were explaining last night. Yeah. Like your reaction was um, like, what are you talking about? I don't get that at all. Yeah. This is very watery. Yeah. I'm like, well, that doesn't yeah. sound like Fev to me. Fev is very thick and it's very well made. I just don't like Tonka bean. Yeah. And I don't mind uh, a subtle Tonka bean in the dry down, but I don't want Tonka to be the star of the show. I don't want it to be yeah. the main note. Like for two hundred and twenty quid, a like a, a Dior Privé, um, a Dior Privé is like sensational. A four hundred and fifty milliliter. I mean, could decant it and get, I could decant half of it, get me money back, and then be left with like 200, 200 mils of fucking Fev dollars used for nothing. Do you but love it? I'm not. Um, I wouldn't say I love it, but I, I love it for two hundred and twenty quid. But I wouldn't love it for like retail price. I wouldn't love it for like what it uh, what it should be, you know, like the, like the recommended retail price. Um, hey, so yeah. Anna is asking. Anna is asking. Have I tried any Maison La Bougie candles by Maison La Bougie? A ray smells like a lovely version of tobacco vanille. Oh, nice! I do like a candle. I'm big on candles these days. Um, I've got my Trent Catra by Diptyque Burnham. It's lovely. I haven't tried any of those Maison La Bougie. No, I haven't either. Um, I've just blown my candle out. Tom Ford has candles now. Well, I mean, he's he's had yeah, candles for a while. I don't yeah, get I out of the much anymore, but I remember seeing his candles, and I thought they, they're they all versions of his perfumes, and they're pretty good as well. Yeah. Um, it's uh, huge, mate. 
it's um it's pretty great um he's amber absolute really nice if you but it's very ambery it's very ambery well you love the scent price is not a key it's a luxury good and i agree with that very much uh how how much do you take like how much factor do you give price to a fragrance is that a determining factor for you can it be a deal breaker for you if you love a perfume does price play have a play in it um y yes excuse me yes and no um well ed saban uh, you've come <laughs> to the right place suggestions for ed saban let us know what you like and i'm sure you'll get a lot of suggestions you purchase something suggestions um so price price yeah, versus yeah. price versus quality it's about context like what would it's it's what i think I, I would pay for something um like Great. i would probably pay i would probably pay more for most girl lawns um i would probably pay more for most girl lawns that i've bought than what i actually paid for them um the there's a massive um there's a massive like there's a trade-off you have to make. You've got to be able to justify it to yourself. Uh, so for the right perfume, I would spend a lot. Um, Spy and Mash. Spy and Mash telling uh, Ed, Saban, Ed Saban that uh, Sultan Bet of us, £91.50 on the Tino. I got two bottles because um, I thought fucking it would be stupid not to. I got two bottles at that. It was just slightly cheaper when I got mine. It was 88 quid. Um but it's 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 a lot of fragrance for that money. Like it's it's beautiful if you like vetiver running. Anyway. Very rich. But anyway, back to price versus price versus quality. If would I spend a thousand quid on a fragrance, I would have to get a lot of it as well. You know? Like I would like like if I was gonna spend like a thousand pounds on a fragrance, I'd have to get a lot of said fragrance. But let's like, say you love something. Would you be willing to buy less of something else you don't love as much in order to have this one piece, regardless if it cost a little bit more? Right. Can you say that again? Because it didn't, didn't make a lot of sense. Okay. You love a perfume, but it has right. a very high cost, whatever that cost is to you. Would you yeah. rather um, not buy other things that you don't love as much in order to have this one piece that you really do like? Yes. Okay, yes, I'm the same way. If I absolutely, yeah, I do that. I've done that with I've done that with Balenciaga for on. Like save, like start saving like money up and just having money on the hip, waiting for a bottle to come up, and then just buying it. I think you can always save from 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 buying less things elsewhere that you don't love. Yeah, yeah, you're but totally I mean, right. You should. Expensive. It must be good in all aspects. You must love it. It must be really well made. Um, there's certain things that come into play. Yeah. There's, there's, the thing is with, the thing is, right, is that as well, when you're at the beginning of your, of your, of your journey, right, and you've committed that you, that you really love it and you want to, you want to buy this, you want to buy that, um, you want to get this, you want to add things to your collection, you want to build a collection. As you get further into it, what you, 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 your, your, your collection changes into like, I'm only going to buy stuff that I that I absolutely love now because I've got so much stuff that I'm only going to add stuff that I absolutely love. Like today, I could have bought I could have bought like other things. I've bought this Fev de la Suisse because it was a great thing, and it, I know it's well made and it's good and it's better than it's better than the one I've got. Um, but at the same time, I could have I could have I could have not spent that because oh. um, it's not like I, I, it's not, it's like it's not like I absolutely love the fragrance but right the thing is is that you've got it you've got it you've got all the trade off you you is it was it worth it to me for 220 quid of like pre-reformulation fev de la Suisse? absolutely um and i don't regret buying it um it's one of the aspects of it's one of the aspects of vintage that i quite like working out whether i actually think it's worth it or not yeah okay you know? like, like i never thought it thing. would be your thing but i mean who am i to know what you're gonna end up loving and not. That's only you can know that. But if what somebody was I saying last night, what was I saying last night? I don't I don't have any gourmands. I don't have many gourmands. 
Um, so, and you were like, Fev de la Suisse, because it's a great, and it's like, obviously, I take your word, like, like you, like, I know you know what you're talking about. Um, so, like, I, I, like, I put weight behind when you say something, I put weight behind, don't, this is not me blaming you for spent buying this Fev de la Suisse. This was already on my mind. Obviously, I'd been trying it. What's that? Um, about? what I'm saying is, I have, oh, Robert, um, the, what I'm saying is, is that, like, and it gets like an endorsement from someone you're like, you're already thinking about it. All these factors come together. Right. Um, and then, and then, and then what it is, is I got, I got half a liter of it for half price. Like right. I wouldn't have bought that bottle today at full retail price. I just wouldn't have bought it. Well, yeah, you, you, you came by a hard to find piece as well, because there's so many talks of this being reformulated and it's not the same. You've said so yourself. It smelled yeah. different. The sample that you got than this, uh, this bottle, this version. Yeah. But for me, yeah. when you asked me, my, what do I think of Fev? My answer was, I think it's a good fragrance. It's just not for me. It's, yeah. it's, it's just way too sweet. But if you like Gourmands and you like Tonka, you'll probably like it. I, I didn't yeah. enjoy, I don't enjoy wearing it because of that goopiness. Um, Jack David asked where we call it a journey, but where does it end? And I like that. What do you think of this question? I don't, I don't think it does uh, end, Jack. No, I was just about to say, yeah, I don't think it ends. It's just like the, you know, the question, the meaning of life or the purpose of, there is no purpose, but you, you come across purposes and those change from time to time. And then you kind of, you have to re-evaluate your purposes of life. And this fragrance journey is, is exactly like that. There's times where I just want to wear Chanel. There's times where I just want to wear Dr. Demachet's Dior's. There's times where I just want Guerlain. And there's times where I don't want to buy anything. And then there's times where I want to buy everything, you know? So it's always yeah. like, you just got to adjust it from time to time and tweak it and perfect it and figure out, you know, what your journey means to you. And what it means to you will be different than what it means to Rich or myself or whoever else is here in the chat that's right it's um I for me not. i didn't think i would get i didn't think i would get into vintage fragrance when i first started mm. um but it's something that just like i like I, I learned like the love um and it's like every facet of it and it's like and the thing is i'm not i'm not like 100% against designer a niche as I've just spent like a lot of money today on a fragrance it's like a designer fragrance like a modern designer niche fragrance like an exclusive um but it's what, like what'd you it's get, like you, 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 sorry what'd you get David yeah David what did you get Eva um hello Eva fuzzy duckies hello um no, it's about it's about like it, the the thing about this, especially about fragrance collecting as well. There's so much scope. Like, where does the fragrance? Where does like where does your journey end? Well, when the fragrance has run out. So how long have you got? You know yeah. what I mean. Like, it ends when you die. Are, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're gonna die if, before you. Start if you're still in the game, lots of people disappear before the game. Their game yeah. ends. I guess they yeah. lose touch or contact, or they find something else that stimulates them more than perfume and that happens i've seen lots of people come and go in my time here yes and you will yes, too right. from viewers yeah. that you know they they comment for years and years and years and then they just disappear well what happened life yes you know, they, they move That's on to right. other things family jobs careers people i don't know die. dogging they find dogging That's right. spend all the money on fucking dogging the wet office dogging for men. The wet dogging for men by Jeremy. My journey complete. Um, Jeremy, there you there go. He is. You've become a I love it. I love it. I love it. I love knowing that Jeremy's man in the chat when I'm fucking actually on the fucking when I'm actually on stream with you. And I like, I like having the thought, the fact, the fact that uh, Jeremy's out there like look, taking care of things. He's a good lad, isn't he? The good lad. I was emailing them the other day. I can't remember what about. Um, well, I like Tonka and Creole. Well, I don't hate it. Um, yeah, I think it's a good fragrance. If a little, uh, not enough for me though. I don't. Does that sound like egotistical? Um, 
At this point, no, I'm kind of over it. To be honest. Do you want to rank that line? Sorry? Do you want to rank that line? If you give me some time, I can think about it. All right, we're going to do that. You still got, you're still working on your top 10 leathers of all time. Yeah, I'm a procrastinator. Yeah, I'll have to stay on you for that. Um, there we go. I don't know if Sancho is trolling me or what. Or is he being serious? i my entire retirement savings on Celine's current <laughs> line. line life, holy slum line. <laughs> Many a true thing is said in jest. Yes. Many a true thing is said. Many a true thing is said when you're joking. Kenzo, what did you pick up? Oh, Ashfak is here. What's up, Ashfak? Oh, Ashfak. What time is it over there, Ashfak? Ashfak will be up in the middle of the night. Scent of the day. Right. Give us your scent. Of, we never got to the scent of the day. My scent of the day is Royal Oud. How did that happen? Isn't it too hot for Royal Oud? No, it's absolutely, absolutely shocking weather here at the minute. Um, pissed down all day. Really? Absolutely horrible. horrible. What was yours? It was really hot here. Well, mine was... I'm so behind on this chat here. I, I'm just going to zoom. Uh, shite, where, what happened to my scent of the day? Let me get it. Go. Okay, travel baggie. Always got my little travel baggie. Take it to work with me. <laughs> so you're well, I, you know what? It's in, the, it's in the title of the video. It's no surprise here. Ah. And my scent of the day is Dior Amour. And I love this. Dr. Demachet. One of, one of his best, I actually think. So if you right. like Iris, check this out. So this is a very floral perfume. And... It's very sensual. It has a lot of that sensual musks in the dry down. It has uh, right. this musky vanilla base. But in the top is uh, very subtly leathery. Um, you get iris, uh, rose, jasmine. I get a little bit of violets. But everything is, is, is a very subtle perfume. Almost monolithic, if you can call a perfume monolithic. Like... If you're to take a, a block of butter and just carve it out of that, that, that that's what this feels like. It's very well rounded, and it, it's it's hard to pull out notes from here because it all it feels more like one big smell than um, a perfume that's constantly transitioning. But uh, it's a fruity floral. I get pear in here, a, a big sparkling pear with light, light and shadows. It's powdery. It's uh, play doughy, it's pastelly, waxy, uh, cosmetic y, floral, and, and a lot of those beautiful sensual musks. So there you go. Tara, I know Tara did her, her favorite iris perfumes. I haven't seen it yet. I want, I'm dying to see her video, but if this isn't on there, you need to check this out. Iris lovers, check this out. Dior Amor, beautiful. Um, iris perfume it's it's floral you know i would say floral but iris is the dominant floral note for me right and there we go um arnold arnold is asking if he wanted to get in touch with us by email arnold if you can get in touch with eugene on instagram and eugene eugene can give I you think arnold has instagram but if he emails me i can yeah, Thank if you them. email, if you email, um, I would put my email in the uh, in the chat, but I get spammed, spammed hard. You never know who's watching. But yes, Arnold, if you want to, mate, no problem. Um, are there any fans of? Dior Sorry, are there any fans of Dior Amour? Oh, do you know what I smelled the day? Eden Rock. Oh, tell us or don't tell us. You're gonna ruin it for me, aren't you? Have okay. You, have you smelled it? Have you smelled it? I have a bottle on the way. I blind bought it. You want us to tell you what I think of it? 
Um, you famous? That's Arnold. That's Arnold trying to get in touch with me. Through you, trying Arnold. to get in touch. How did you do that? That was quick, Arnold. That's right. <laughs> so, um, sorry. So tell us about Eden Rock. Eden Rock is really. You're gonna have to take that. No, I don't know who okay. it is. All right. Um. So. Um, Eden Rock, very soapy, very linear, very flat. Fuck sakes. It's Max 40. <laughs> what does he Max. want? <laughs> Why Max would he be 40. calling me? What would he want? Tell me. I don't know. He's calling on behalf. He's, he's been sent. He's been sent to hit you by uh, Demashi. I wonder who it is. Eugene's beauty card. That's right. It's the doggers. It's the doggers ringing. They found Eugene. Yeah, them they dogs. want their they, they want their dogs the walked. Dog. They want their dogs yeah. walked. Maybe it's Demache. He wants to um, collaborate on the next uh, Dior Privé. He wants to go dogging. He wants to go dogging with you. That's what he wants to do. That's the collaboration he wants. Um, I was given uh, I was given something outrageous at Dior today by the lovely girl. Um, Did you get a sample of Eden Rock? I, no, but they had a sample of Eden Rock. Do you know what happened? Do you know how they had it? Somebody, somebody, a punter of theirs came in and gave them the sample of Eden Rock, the Dior Boutique, because they haven't got the new, they haven't got any, they haven't got Spice Blend, they haven't got Purple Oud, they haven't got any of the new, um, they haven't got any of the new uh, Dior Privés at all. The, the the last new one that they had, I think, is uh, possibly Feb de la Suisse. Um, nothing, nothing after 2018. So... All these new ones. Um, Guess who might be coming to visit in September? At uh, uh, Galen. <laughs> Ta-da! That'd be class. Let's Time to get over here on the casting <laughs> couch. Maybe we can get Rich Mitch to come at the same time. Would that be po how epic? Would that be to get Galen and Rich Mitch here at the same time? I couldn't get insured in your country. What do you mean insured? What do you need insurance uh, for? Dude, there's perfume. Perfume is medicine. You don't need anything else. That's right. I just, I, I never thought of that. If I just applied some fucking, if I just applied some Gucci guilty to me fucking hip, it would have fixed it by now. I never thought of that. Let's get Galen out here. Who wants to uh, see Jack Galen? Me. Everybody wants to see. Did you see Galen and Thomas's video about Oda Hermes today? I haven't seen it yet. No. I, I have a job. Extreme I'm good. working. Well, Galen, no, you should, you should know better than you have a broken back. You should try having a broken back. Much better. You can watch. Uh, it, it's much better. Somebody saying it's. Uh, Ooh, uh, more, more over Overmesia. Damn. Wow. That's aggressive, Super King. Mm. Yikes. Galen Thomas. I don't know how to Rich respond Mitch to that. Mitch. I haven't smelled. Um, oh, I thought it said Mitza. Sorry, Mizia. Not a huge fan of it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. There's only about four exclusives from Chanel that I really, that I really like. I'd use the word vibe with, but that I vibe with. Um. Gillen, so, yes. you want to go dogging? I don't know. Gillen would like to go dogging. I don't know if he could. You think Gill Gillen's into dogging? I think um, we just go ducking. How about that? Don't you duck me. Leave me alone. Oh, Rudy was, says Don, Don Putty is a clone of Mesia. Hmm. I think Don Putty uh, reminds me more of uh, Guerlain's uh, Queer Beluga. Try Queer yeah, Beluga and then get back to me. Queer Beluga. Oh, shit. The Guerlain. <laughs> sorry? Queer Beluga. Yeah, get, let's, sorry, you know what? We, we, we cut you off so often. Let's get back to Eden Rock and tell us how horrible you thought it was. I didn't necessarily think it was horrible. I just thought it was very bland. Um, It smelled like, it smelled like a lighter version of Prada Ramba Poram. 
Um, it smelled like it smelled like old lady's hand cream. Fuck's sakes, Galen, stop calling me. Is it Galen? Is it? No, it's not. I wouldn't be surprised. He's a rascal. He's a rascal. That one. All you've got to do is look at that fro to know that he's a bad <laughs> lad. He might have some of the best curls on YouTube, right next to Eva. Who's got yeah, better curls, Galen or Eva? Oh God, I'm not saying. I'm not telling. I'm not telling you in front of Eva. <laughs> <laughs> she kicked me off. Galen's Galen's is like floppy. It's like it's sort of like it hangs to like the right. You know how one of your testicles hangs lower than the other one? That's like what Galen's hair does. Like it, it like like it hangs it hangs heavier on the right. How do you disconnect this? I don't know. You can turn your Eva, I will kick your ass, Rich. I don't know how you disconnect it. Do you know who it is? I don't know. You know, just I pick it up and be like, yeah. phone on uh, airplane. Yeah, is that that? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Who hasn't seen anyone below their neck? You should answer. You should not answer. Eva you will should answer it. Ass. Put them on speaker. Might be an emergency. Might be the courier for a fragrance delivery. <laughs> that would be an emergency, wouldn't it? That would be an emergency. No, like, oh my god, I've got to go. To get a hold of me knows how to. Like if it's somebody urgent, if it's urgent, I would know who it was. Yeah, and I don't usually answer yeah. if I don't know who the caller is. Yeah. Mm. What do you think of Chanel Allure and its flankers? Um, Are you asking me? Oh, no, well, I think if you're, if you're only in designers, I think it's okay. But if you're looking for something a little bit more. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. Um, I think they're a little bit sweet, especially the original. I do like the lemon one. Um, the the allure, the allure line for me, I loved the original when I was a teenager. Yeah. Like I aspired to wear that. I aspired to wear that when I was a teenager, and then. I smelled it again years later, and I was just like, shite. I really didn't like, like how metallic it went. You know what the original is? It's a barbershop fougere with an oriental it really base. Is. It has a lavender and a creamy top to it. I like that, but I don't like the opening. It has this, this mass appealing effect to it, which turns me off. It's not a bad fragrance, but I mean, at this point, it's not something I want to wear very often. I'll wear it maybe once a year. But then again, I only yeah. wear everything once a year. So it's on par yeah, with everything right. else. Yeah, that's right. Nick, I saw your question about I saw your um I saw your statement about uh yeah, Viet Army. Yeah, he's just reposted it. Um th th those those if you like smoke, right, then those both at London's are absolutely outrageous. They're brilliant. But if you don't like smoke, don't touch them with a stick. Because they'll frighten you. Um, they'll 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 put you in therapy. The dangerous fragrances. I think my the next fragrance I buy is going to be um, the next fragrance I want to buy is um, Rake and Ruin by Both at London. Um, just waiting for um, just waiting for a refund to come through. Um, so like yes, Edition Blanche as well. I think Edition Blanche would be my favorite. I don't like the sport version. Is, is that the lemon? Is that the lemon cream pie one? Yeah. Uh, Yoshi, Yoshi, stay away from both of London if you don't like birch top bomb smoke. Are you? Um, it, sorry, I don't want to. I cut you off. Go on. No, sorry. I'm just. I'm just advising people to run for the hills if they if they don't care for. People keep asking care. for a Bodacia, and I, I don't know. I have never smelled a single Bodacia, so I can't answer that. Bodacia. Bodacia. I've, 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 I've thought Bodicea. they were, yeah, I thought Bodacia were um, pretty average, if I'm honest. Um, Klaus. Klaus has got a vintage mini derby. Klaus, is that from Germany? Because I saw that online from Germany on eBay. Did you get that from German eBay? Because I, I saw that, mate. Um, 
and I thought about it, but it was like 50 quid, 50 euros. Guess what's in here? What's, you, what's Eugene unboxing? Oh, a box? Oh, my God. I unboxed the box. Guess what's in here? I, it's hard to tell at the moment until you... You want us to tell you? I, um, I don't know. What is it? It's for you. I'm opening it's your for Mary. Gift. Yeah. Oh, my God. What could it possibly be? I see, Klaus. Um... That is a good friend if they're giving you a vintage Derby mini. No guesses, no takes. Ah, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know. You've you've got as a gift, and I don't know what it is. Well, I got to fill them up first. Um, it's your vials. Yeah, I promised some some samples to you and and some people. You just got to tell me what you want. Lily, Lily says, um, "Is it rice for me?" Rice? Is it rice? Is it, is it rice for Rich Mitch? Because you feed the ducks <laughs> rice. Yes, I'm gonna send you some rice. You want brown or white? Yeah, that's right. It's really, you would get in more trouble for that than you would for um, than you would Thought for selling perfume, sending perfume. Oh yeah, but, sending food. Thoughts on Rose and Queer? I like it. And there was somebody else on in the chat yesterday, Yara. I'm not sure if Yara's still here, but. She was kind of confused by it at first, and then it took her a year um, to get on with it. And now it's a love for her, and uh, it's a big it's love amazing. for me as well. It's quite simple. Duck doesn't like it, but that's no surprise. Duck doesn't like a lot of things. Um, once he gets, I think, once Duck gets a little bit more familiar, he's like me, and he'll he'll come around to it. But I'm going to send you some Rose and Queer, so you can read oh, this. Nice um. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What, 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 run, run some ideas. Drop some ideas in the chat because he asked us the other day, what would I like the smell of like his that he's got? Um, and I don't know. Um, he's Have got some great stuff. Have you smelt this? What is that? Looks nice. That is queer to Lancome. No, I haven't smelled that. that that's meant to be lovely, though. I'm going to send you some of this. Oh, nice one. And interference, yes, I have switched from this like the light. It happened with um Rodrigo not Nos, Rodrigo Narcissus. Ro, Narciso Rodriguez for him eau eau de toilette. Uh came to love it. Absolutely amazing. I hated it the first time I smelled it. I was like, who the fuck would ever want to wear that? Um Lon Vol as well. Uh smelled Lon Vol the first time I smelled it. I was like, oh that's uh. and then I've I've come to really enjoy that. It's one of the best designer releases of the last ten years. It's fabulous. Um Green Irish Tweed as well, actually. That that was a hate for us the first time I smelled it. I was like, oh my god, no. Really? And then just it's so yeah, easy green to Irish like tweed. Sorry? It's so easy to like. Yeah, I, I really didn't like it the first time I smelled it. This is like early when I got into fragrances, though, you know. Um, I'm looking through me stuff now, looking at stuff that I didn't like, and then I did. Um I haven't revisited me Rogers and I need to revisit the Rogers to give them a better chance. I, I got to get and, some um, labels. I'm going to stream and deep at the same time and kill two birds, two ducks with one stone. Two ducks, two, two, two ducks with one stone. Um, I see the poachers in the chat. The poachers? Um, the poacher. No, the poacher. Caboose. Caboose has been here. It is he, the poacher. He's, uh, he's poached a couple of good deals recently. He got a bottle of um, he got a bottle of equipage for forty quid. Okay, good. And he was like, "Yeah, you." I was like, "I was like, yeah, that's really good." That um, there's a geranium version as well. Yeah, I don't know if he's. Yes, he smelled that. I remember him saying he smelled that. Um, okay, so. my God, Rich, you're a lot of work. No, uh, you're not wrong. Um, I'm worth it in the end. I'm annoying. Napoleon lies. What's lies? Poaching an egg right now, Rich. Do you know, I was eating some Haribo eggs earlier, Caboose, and I was going to send you one that said, oh, the poacher, you've poached this egg, but the, they're not the fried, so I didn't bother. It's the type of thing he would pick up on. 
Yes, great, great. Interference. Fill a bunch of La Leon for Duck and tell him it's uh, Pavarotti or uh, what's the other one? The poor home. Balenciaga, poor home. Don't do that. That's not nice. Send nice stuff. I don't know. I'm looking at my collection thinking, oh, what's he got that I can send? I should be looking at your collection thinking what you got that you can send. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, oh, like, I'm thinking to myself, oh, could he send us like ombre leather as I'm sitting staring at ombre leather? Thinking, what the hell am I doing that? What the hell am I doing that for? I'm going to send you um, some Hortus Sanitatis. Yes, please, and God, then, yes. I desperately want to try And that. then when you when you get these, when I send them to you and you get them, do not open them until we live stream. Oh, shit, what a good idea. I want your first impressions. That's a really good idea. Is, has anybody smelt this or bought it or know what it smells like? Uh, no, actually, not me. Strict instructions. Oh no. Sorry, I just keep throwing things around on stream. I've noticed this when I've watched the streams back occasionally. Well you can hear us like clinking and clattering. Dude, um, when you play with your apps, they drive me mental. Sorry about that. I'll stop. <laughs> the magnetic you're not doing it now. I uh, why I literally just dropped a fucking massive cap on the floor. Uh, Isn't that bottle gorgeous though? Look at that 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 tint. Yeah, the, the the look at that taint. That um, taint. You know, it's just as nice. I'm gonna send you some of this too. Nuit de feu. Have you smelled that? No. Jacob was talking about it the other day though, and I was intrigued. Yeah, you gotta smell it. It's really good. Lovely taint. Eva's admiring the taint. I can't even send Eva. I can't even send Eva some samples because of um, Brexit. Yo, these better not cost me two hundred and fifty-seven dollars to send them over the pond. No, yeah. if you send them to where, if you send them to um, the perfume, yeah, they've got to deal with UPS, I believe. So it shouldn't be so. And I've got to get a couple of things from the perfume anyway. So I'll, I'll, they've graciously said they would send me. What does um, it cost them to send it over? Well, it's like forty quid. But you get it within two or three days. You get it within like two days. Once once I literally ordered on like I ordered on the Tuesday night and got it on the Friday morning. It was like 60 hours. Persele did a video on this the other day and he really liked it. Nui de Fu. Look at the color of that. I would never guess that would be the color of Nuit de Feu. It's such a dark are fragrance. You putting, are you putting labels on these things? So you can remember what's what? Avi. Oh, good lad. I need to get, I was talking to my mate the day when we were out, and I was like, oh, you know the next thing I need to get? And she was like, what? Another perfume? I was like, no, I need to get a, um, I need to get a, um, a label maker. Ah, uh, Catherine's here, hiya. Catherine says no problem. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, the, the perfume is here. No, she oh, Mary, Catherine, she? That's who you're talking about. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's dead, Kenny. Um, okay, what, what else? else do you want? I don't know. We need we need suggestions in the comments. Have you smelled um, French what else? Tonight? Mm, I've smelled it, but I can't remember it. If you'll do as a decant of that, I'll I'll ping you over a couple of hundred quiz. <laughs> Uh, suggestions. Give me some suggestions. I'm, I'm struggling. Um, I don't know. What have you got? Like, yeah, I don't know. There's a couple of, um, I don't know, to be honest. I'm missing what all the comments. Got? So you, you got to read them out. Get the moon. Send them a sample of Naxos. Don't you dare. The bottle Hopefully is amazing. Bottle. Which bottle, Yoshi? Um, no, Mike, I won't. I won't open them. Better that Mike says. Hopefully, Duck follows the do not open and try orders better than Eugene did. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When he got all... oh, Alex, yeah. Hello, Alex. Man. Oh, in... I don't have the vintage on Fleur de Cassie. I can send you the the modern. That's fine. You want nightclubbing? 
Go on, then. Go on. It's going to say yes to everybody. I've only got 30, and I've promised somebody else some samples, so... Oh, you don't have to send us... You don't have to send us anything like 30. I'm just like... The thing is, is that you're giving us them for now. So I kind of sit here and be like, no, I don't want that. So I want this. Oh, yeah, fucking send us the most expensive, best ones you've got. I'll take anything you're gracious enough to send us, to be honest. Well, what is it you want to try? What is it that interests you? I'm struggling to think about what you've got. Run us some, run some. You want Toba Kalar? Oh, my God. Go on, then. Oh, God. Tobacco law. The night will melt the vial. <laughs> Louis Ombre. Ombre. Do not send us Savage. Surprise him and it's then you think that ch yeah, not Diagolev. No, I've smelled a couple of his other ones though. I'll send you Diagolev. Thank you. I've got Santa Royale. Um I've I've smelled memoir doing other I can get that over here. There's no point in them sending us stuff that I can get over here. Um I wish I could just do it for him. Have I smelled who, sorry? I think Houdini was gonna send you some old noir, right? Yeah, um he said yeah, he said he was, yeah. Um Lana Way de and smash your head against the wall, bro. Oh hey, you remember that he deleted all his smash his head against the wall videos. If you remember yeah. 120 I'm glad somebody else remembers that. They'll be out there somewhere. Surge, you could send us a couple of surge I haven't got. Which ones? Well, I don't know what you've got that I haven't. Feel an yeah. You know what it smells like, don't you? I do know what it smells like. You want that just bottle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get more. That's all I'm doing. You've got the 50 ml bottles. I would buy them off you. If you ever want to sell sell them, let us know. What I, I can send I you samples, just, but I'm not selling my bottles. Yeah, that's I know. That's what I mean. Um, the participate per se. I'll nice send stuff. you some uh, mousse de sable. Oh yes, that's right. I've never tried that. Some les indomitables. That's that's better than Vinny Havan. Enrique is saying Vinny Vinny Havan is probably the most uh, the, the most appealing from that brand. But I think as an enthusiast, mousse de sable is a little bit more in, uh, exciting. Yeah. At least don't send us any Zerzhov because I'll just bin them. Well, I don't have any Zerzhov to send. Good lad. We don't get into it. We don't do that in this house. Um, I'm trying to think. You've got, I've got, fucking hell, I'm back doing it, man. I'm looking at my own fucking collection. Um, would you send us some Boy by Chanel? Yeah, I think I've got samples, already, like the Chanel samples. If you've got like any like real samples of, if you've got any like genuine samples of fragrances that you've already got, if that makes sense, yeah. you know how you've got a bottle of boy, but you've also got a sample. I would take like the sample of boy if you, if that's all right. Okay, Diagolev, have you tried this? No. Okay. Oh. Look at that noise. The noise is slightly filthy. It's like water it's music. Long. You know how you play water music when you go to sleep? I can I can yeah. listen to decanting music. Decanting music. I listen to ASMR. There's a um there's a channel called the French Whisperer, and he actually talk he doesn't just make like tapping noises, he actually talks about topics and it's fucking unbelievable. I'm getting it's licorice on this. What are you getting licorice on? Or I got licorice on my hands from something. Maybe Toba Kalar. Something herbal. Mm. I got friend. I got um. I got licorice from something the other day, and I was like, "What the hell is licorice doing in there?" Oh my god.
Yeah, Arnold, I love, I love, um, I love that French whisper. I don't listen to any other ASMR. I don't need it. The night. He's, he's absolutely Blue brilliant. Mate. Blue cheese. Do you have any? Sorry. I'm, I'm sending you some blue cheese. Some blue cheese. Oh yes, that's right. Ox, ox is eating blue cheese with diarrhea. Grim. Did you know the the Frederick Mull sprayer pumps out twice as much juice as a Roja? Exactly twice as much. Exactly. I decanted some Roja the other day and some Frederick Mull for a friend, and it was exactly two to one sprays. Mint. I love a stat. That's a great statistic. The 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 mall sprayer is massive. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. I think I think that's something that's happened. I think that's something that's happened over the years. Well, sprayers have got like sprayers have got uh, smaller blue cheese. Hundred a spray. Vintage Mitsuko. Have you tried Marvis toothpaste? They come in all flavors, including anise. They're delicious. No, I haven't. God, I've the got Royal some, Mail. Uh, not take these away. Don't let the Royal Mail won't take them away as long as you send them to the perfume. Yeah, they look after them. Have you smelled Old Vanilla? No. You want some? It's a floral oh, perfume. I don't know if you'll like it. It'll challenge us. It'll be something different. I'll try it. Oh God, I'll try. I'm looking at my fragrances, thinking if if it was the other way around, what could I send you? And I don't think I've got much that. I don't uh, think I've got much. I could, I could send you. I could send you some Zar. I think you'd quite like Zar. Um, you'd like some of the colognes I've got, like the Capucci Pour. It's very citrusy, though. I'm not, you're not banging the citrus, are you? And not that into citrus. See you, David. Cheers, David. Do I have any of my Arige? I, I think I gave the Arige to Christo and uh, Daniel after our videos. I might have one or two. Oh, sorry. Do you want some Leleon? God, no. You can send some if you like, and I will appreciate it. And I will wear it and use it like I did with the one. Do you, do you have any left? I don't know. I can't think. What will happen is you'll send it off and it'll get here and then I'll be like, oh, I wish I'd got that. Or like fucking... I can't think of anything. Um, what about those... Um, what about your Hermes Essence? You got any Santa Alma Soya? I don't. I might have some samples, like uh, factory samples. Do you want any All little... Right. Like exclusive... The Labo. Oh, God, they're awful. You, you're um, queer. Go on then. Go on then. I'll take the queer. Queer d'ange. There's a seller on um, eBay at the minute, and they've got about ten queer d'ange. Uh, they're replacing Britain. They've got ten queer d'ange, and they're selling two hundred milliliters for about two hundred quid. Um, and I've thought about it, but I would never get through that. I would never get through that because um, it's one of those perfumes that I quite like, but I don't love. It's just what we were talking about before. You've smelled. Have you got any odor? Have you have you got any odor Hermes? Just the modern stuff. I don't have what Galen and Thomas have. Yeah, I would. I would. I would take a smell of that because I haven't even smelled the, the modern stuff that I can remember. If I have smelled it, I can't remember it. Okay, I'll send you Mousse de Sable. Thank you. Mousse. Musk. The would, you send us a sample of musk? would you send us a sample of Musk, Scoob, like Khan? If you'd like. Please. <gasps> Drunk. I heard you talking about a few Musk Milanas on you. You tried Romanza. You were obsessed. I, like, I think I've got a sample of it, mate. Um, but... I'm caked in perfume today. I'll try it tomorrow, Fee. I'll try it tomorrow and let you know. You've got my email address. Emailers and reminders, Alec. Um, I'll try it and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Somebody keep thinking about dogging here. Somebody's got dogging on their mind. Some people are fucking 
loving it. There's someone in the UK, Santiago Musk, Alexia Pressure, Fida. That's that's what they go for, mate. That's what the, that's what those Alexia Pressure go for. They're fucking expensive as fuck. You pay like you pay like oh, two hundred. Oh, that's the pressure. Do you know the, yeah, the little essential oil, the, like the uh, the three mil ones. Page of Stars, mate. No, I haven't tried Petra yet. <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> so number two in the queue. That's right. I heard it is precious, isn't it? No, uh, Page, brother, mate. I haven't. Um, it is. It's decanting live. We're just. It's like the Truman Show. We're just like to sit around and watch Eugene as he goes about his daily life. <laughs> Is that what the Truman Show is about? It's basically, yeah, it is. Um, It is, yes. Have you tried the musk oil, Rich, and do you think it's worth the price? Almost certainly not worth the price, Fitter. Um, I have tried the musk oil. It's not my favorite one. I really like the amber one and the rose one. The rose one was beautiful. All they are, right, are they are like the essential oils that they put in. Like if you smell the rose one and the amber one, it just smells like amber in a week. Um, very strong, very strongly of Amber and Away. Um, I don't think they're worth. I don't think they're worth that. I think they're people who have got too much money. If you want the truth, if you've got the money to blow it, right, then get it. If you've got the money to lose, get it. If you don't, stay well back. What are you uh, going Roger, on? Roger, I'm talking to um, I'm talking to Federer. He's asking about those those Dior. Those Dior oils, the three mil ones. Oh yeah, I heard yeah. they're discontinued. Um, yeah, that fuck it, they were a bonkers idea. Again, and them, they're people who, they're for like, um, they're for like, like oil barons and stuff like that. You know, like people who are very, very rich. Um, it would be a lucky dog sniffer who gets its nose on the package. Um, Ed what? Saban, Ed, Ed Saban, I do not know. If they are cheap, thirteen hundred dollars is ridiculous. Um, they probably are cheaper in the UK because, as a rule, perfumes are cheaper in Europe than they are in North America. But um, because of the distribution, because of the way the distributors work, but I, I, I couldn't tell you. I'm not a big Roger. I'm not a big Roger like fanatic. Um, so I would, I would, I would imagine they are cheaper, but. I think paying paying anywhere like paying anywhere for like a thousand pound of fragrance, it would have to be. I tell you what, would be worth a thousand quid. An original, like nineteen twenties, um, Queer de Russie Chanel Chanel Queer de Russie oil, still sealed in those like thirty or twenty eight milliliter bottles. And if it, if you could guarantee that the smell was still intact, that would be because that would be a piece of history. Um. Like that, that's when you would have that's when you would spend that kind of money on a fragrance. Have, have um, you Bobby Rouge dress code? I don't think so. I've smelled the other one that did. I've smelled the other one that did. They did another special one, didn't they? What they did another, they did another special one, didn't they? They have, uh, I think four versions of dress code. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 I've, I've smelled one of them. Um, Do you have any guilty pleasure frags? Me? Yeah. Uh, I've probably got a lot of guilty pleasure frags. I like... Um, I'll be right back. Keep talking. Okay, right. No, bother. Um, any guilty pleasure fragrances? I really like Roadster. Um, even though I know I probably shouldn't. Because it's like a designer. Like, I remember I bought a backup has been discontinued, and I told Galen, we've got like a group chat, and I told Galen, oh, I'm getting a backup of Roadster, and he was like, absolutely nobody needs a backup of Roadster. What are you doing? You need your head checked, what you're playing at. Um, and I was like, no, it's been discontinued, and I love it. I need to get it. Um, what else do I really like? Um, I've really got rid of like a lot of stuff that I don't. That I don't wear, that I like, I like. Um, guilty pleasures. Um, I mean, guilty pleasure would be like nightclubbing from Celine. Why? Why would that be a guilty pleasure? I I don't know. Like I can't. I can't go. I can't wear many designers 
for pleasure, especially yeah. in the evening because they're very obnoxious. Like, let's say yeah. Spice Bomb. I, I can't wear that at night. It's just way too loud. I want something yeah. subtle. Do you know what? I've, I, I, I've heard this phrase the other day, and it, it reminds me of like a phrase from when I was younger. And it's, yeah, but it sums up a lot of, it sums up a lot of things and a lot of perfumes really well. Like designer fragrances now are really try hard. Like they try hard perfumes. Like they try too hard to be good. But yeah. they're, <laughs> they're crap. That's... Like they really try like as hard as fuck to like be good, but they're actually not. Yeah. That's why I can't get on with many parfum de Marley is they, they, they try too hard. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're trying so hard that they're just they're just like, oh god, just stop, please. No. Um I'm still trying to think of a guilty pleasure because it's a good question. It's a good question. Um not Fahrenheit, absolute. I don't think that I'm not I don't feel guilty for liking that. Um Polo Sport. Polo Sport's so fucking good, especially the Cosme version. Oh my god. Let's see what's so in here. Good. Sorry, what you got Let's in there? See what is in here? Oh my god! What's in the bag? So this is uh, Cartier's Diaf Diaphane. Ooh. Oh, that's something you could send us if you wouldn't mind. You know the sandalwood Cartier one. The, the exclusive. Yeah. Would you send us that? Which one do you think of them is the best? The the sandal one is good. Oud and Oud is good. Ro they're all good. They're all good. Would you send us some of them? Any of them? And I would be happy. I appreciate it. Really. I got Sitting you. here with like a Oud and with a complex? No. Sitting here with a complex now because I'm looking at my fragrance thinking, what could I possibly send them? Like, I know you're not expecting us to, but at the same time, like, I, I don't think there's much I've got that you would like. You would like Incense. Have you smelled Incense by... Um, I smelt it at uh, Samir's once. Yeah, I bought, I bought it up Samir. Um, Catherine sent it over to us as well. Um, yeah, I've got Oudin Musk. Samari. This is really good. Oudin Musk Oudin. and Oudin Rose from Cartier. And these are both wow. four mils. Oh, I've got more. Uden Santal. Like. <laughs> Ud Radio. Oris, Oris, uh, Oris Tattoo, I could send you that. Herb says I could send you that's a good show. Yeah, I'd love to try that. Um, and if you have that Latessa. You could fucking, yeah. And Ud and Ud. So you got one, mm -hmm. two, three, four Uds here. Thank you very much. And Jim, would you rather you send it this way? Have you tried Patchouli 24? No, I've tried the better one and I didn't like it. The Patchouli one. Uh, you haven't tried Patchouli. You love Patchouli. You haven't tried Patchouli 24. It's the best. I don't think so. Have you tried Santal 33? Yes. You want Not a big fan. I'll take a sample. If you've got an official sample, I'll take a sample. Small or oh, Loewe. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually. The Loewe. I'd send them some of the Parahombra. Not the poor arm, the Parahombra. The Parahombra ones from the 70s, and it's, oh, it's fucking immense. Yoshi, I think I'll have a full on. Never mind a semi on, mate. Okay. Be able what to else? Put, you know, if tell I died, you wouldn't be able to close me coffin. Sorry? Tell me what else you want. Just, I don't know. I can't think. You, you had to tell us what you've got, and I'll just be like, well, I'll take it or not. <laughs> you want me to tell you everything I have? What about um, Hermesens? Yes, order Hermes if you can't. Um, but I don't know what else because I've got, I've got a bit of a tongue. Uh, um, Iris, 
Uh, I've got Vetiver Tonka. I've got Ambra Um You've never smelled. So the... You've never smelled Eau de Hermes. I've smelled Eau de Hermes, but I haven't smelled it in a long time, and I haven't got any of it. Yeah, Hermes Essence. I know you've got a massive Hermes Essence collection. I was watching one of your videos the other day. I think we commented. This is like, we're not going to be able to do it. If we do this as a video, it's going to spread over like a few days. I'm not going to be able to try all of these all at once. Why? Because I don't think I've got enough skin. <laughs> Get blotters. <laughs> yeah, but I'll You'll have to die. steal some blotters. From, I'll have to steal some blotters. <laughs> yes, that's right. Tara, say, Tara says three hours later. Paprika <laughs> Brazil is good. You have paprika? No, but I love it. It's lovely. It's absolutely okay, lovely. What did I just spray? Oh, to Hermes. I love it. Herb? Oh, I've, I've never, I've never got, I've never clicked um, with Lartazan. Never clicked with Lartazan at all. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's not for. You can order like a thousand blotters for fifteen dollars. Is that Canadian dollars, gentlemen? Because that's like that's about like six quid. I'm gonna send you some of my uh, submissions. Yes, that's right. That's right. Some of your submissions. That's right. I'm dying to try them. Try them at the kitchen table. We'll do that. We'll keep that one private. We can have to do like a backstage where it's just us. Yoshi Yoshi says watching this like an olfactory cuckold. That's Audrey Jane, that <laughs> Audrey Jane's the olfactory cuckold. It was so innocently the way she said it, wasn't it? <laughs> she was so like she was so like I've got no idea what I'm saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. So oh, Jack no, no, no. These are all twenty percent, Jack. Wow. But they're strong. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're thick. <laughs> Audrey's crying. Bless her. <laughs> Cook old episode was classic. It was an outrageous. <laughs> Ditsy, bless her. But a universal term that can be applied to most situations. Oh no. Oh dear me. I've just noticed I've got my matriarchs all sat up in like a, like the back corner of me um in my cupboard. And I haven't sprayed them for ages. I might give them, oh, I can't, I'm caked. I'm absolutely covered in scent. It's ridiculous. Orca. Has anybody smelled Orca by, um, has anybody smelled Orca by, uh, how's the mate we are? Yes, that's right. Like the stream. Like the stream for Eugene. There's 100 people here and it's only 50 likes. Whoa. It's for Eugene. It's for wow. Eugene, not for me. For you, like, Jean, not for me. Like this stream. I was just gonna. I was just going to ask you that, Rich. What were you gonna ask us, Cole? Oh, um, yeah, amber grey bot. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I was sold this by a very good friend. Um, it's it's lovely. Um, Tara smelled it. She really likes it. I've got black number one as well, Herb. Um, Blackbird, uh, used to be Blackbird, didn't it? That's what it used to be called. There it is, and I've got Sax Magic as well. Um, I've got Sax Magic as well. Eugene looks like he's working in a bar with the green rag on his shoulder. I feel like I'm in a bar. 
That's right. He's in a scent bar. There's a place called Scent Bar, isn't there? There is. Oh, sex magic by uh, by my triarch. What are you spraying now? These are my submissions. Ah, yeah, submissions. Like the stream if you're in the cuckold club. <laughs> Tara wants sex magic. Tara wants sex magic. And magic or sex or magic. She wants to see she wants to see you make the salami disappear. <laughs> What's that? She wants you to make the salami disappear. What she wants salami? sex magic? You know, play hide the salami. You've played hide the salami with a girl before. I can imagine what you're talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's the magic, you see. You make it disappear. Salami disappear. That could get you into trouble, though. Well, as long as as long as the other person's a willing participant, then you should be all right. As long as they're in on the trick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, um, I've got a two. I've got a. I've got a, a fifteen mil of two gets a tower. It's very sweet. Hide the wall hammer. Hide the meat hammer. Okay, I think we're all done. Oh my god, we're all done. We're up to fifty-eight likes. Another universal time term that can be applied to all situations. But hiding the salami. Audrey Jane is cannot be a, cannot be applied to all situations, can it? <laughs> it's not like you're out on a spacewalk, fixing the Hubble Space Telescope, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I'm just going to hide this along me." <laughs> be like, "What? You can't be hiding the salami in space." I bet that's been done though. Do you think they've tried that? Like, got a couple astronauts to fucking just strip off and get it done. In the space station, see if it works. You think they have privacy, or they're always on, like being monitored? Um, they've probably they've probably got somewhere tucked away. So in space, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> oh man, I wonder. I imagine so. They must have tried it just for science's sake. That's what I'm going to tell the lasses. Um, how about that parcel of samples weighs twenty kilos? I hope. I hope this doesn't get weight. weird caught up by royal mail no it's not going to if, if you send it to the perfume yet yeah, they've got a they've got a um certificate they can send stuff through the post perfume through the post and everything okay. will be fine all right i'll that's get the why I, that's why i said that's why i said send it to them instead of send it yourself i'll get it i know i'll get it let me know if there's something else you want to try i don't know i need to think or I'll, I'll give I you till know. saturday to make up your mind Okay. So okay. take notes. I will. I'll take notes. I'll have a bit chew. I'll watch some of your old videos um, again. But no I'll vintages. I'm not sending out any vintages. All right. I'm kidding. Not any, not any rest. Not any rest stuff. Not any rare stuff. That, that I was thinking about those girl aunts. You know, you brought out all those bottles a couple of weeks ago. The, 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 the perfume porn. Yeah, and I was thinking you can't, you can't just fucking break it. I'm not having you break it, then that's ridiculous. No, I've got some samples of that I can send if you if you can figure out what you want. I don't need to break. Um, my don't uh, well if you don't have to break any a bottle, I would. Um, would I think you nice. should try the classics anyway. I think you should try Volde Nui. You should try. Have you smelt Lure Blue? Yeah, I've smelled it, but I don't think I've smelled the one you've got. We're losing subscribers, people are people are not happy. Who's losing subscribers? Not subscribers. Oh, viewers. Um, viewers, that's what I meant. What I was there? Somebody on the chat the other day who said that we're going to unsubscribe. Yeah, it was uh, while we were talking about dogging. Oh God! I don't know. Was it offensive? The the conversation or the chat? Did, did I miss I something? Some people, some people, it's just some people don't want to hear it. 
it's just grown up conversation, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think I said anything anything offensive. I didn't feel like I didn't. Usually, when I say something offensive, I, I, I feel like I've got a good radar for that. I don't think I said anything offensive either. It might have been something in the chat, which is, I can't control what happens in the chat. In the Scott. In the Scott, yeah. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Galen. Galen knows how to hammer it home every time. What's he saying? This ain't the airport. People don't need to announce their departure. Wow, why do people feel like they need to announce that they're leaving? Because the I don't know. They think there'll be a miss. Um, people. It's usually people who don't say anything as well. Yeah, you know what right. I mean. It, it happens a lot. Like a lot so, of people like this. So something interesting happened about two weeks ago. I was watching a, a another live stream. It was a fragrance YouTuber, and he. I, I would consider this person a friend, and they went on about how Eugene and and Rich Mitch stream four hour videos about perfume and how boring it is. And by the time his live stream was over, it hit the four hour mark. And I thought, Hmm, <laughs> that's pretty that's fucking true. ironic. You know, yeah. you're bitching about the exact same thing that you're doing. Yeah. What's the difference? People like that. Are, people like that. Are, people like that are just the worst. I just thought it was like zero awareness. Yeah, yeah, ignorant. Um, yeah, the, 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 the hypocrites are just yeah. Uh, not a big fan of that. Oh well, not a big fan. Not a big fan of that. Well, Better you know, we're, we're, we're doing what we love. We're talking about. <coughs> well, you okay there? Yeah, hey, I, I just dropped. Me, I dropped my phone. <laughs> You know, we're doing what we love. We're talking about perfume and we talk about other things in between, like adult stuff or whatever. And uh, people seem to enjoy it because there's usually, you know, 80 to 120 people here at times. So we're not hurting anybody, you know. Everybody's enjoying themselves. So I don't see what the problem is. Uh, jealousy. Inward, they're projecting their inner misery. It was after the watershed. It was all fine. It was after the watershed here, Audrey. It's not after the watershed there. It's so strange, isn't it? Just the sheer, like, what we're doing now with, like, the internet. Like, like even, like, even, like, 10 or 15 years ago, like, we wouldn't be doing this. Like, it's mad how, like, we actually know each other. Like, everybody in the chat, it's mad how, like, we've all come together at the same place at the same time. Right. And we're in, like, talking about the same thing. And it's like through the internet and perfume. It's crazy. Yeah. For what it's, it's worth, I think your hair looks great. I wouldn't worry about what some troll on the internet's saying about you. Yeah, fuck the trolls. Fuck people who say shit like that. Um, it's um. There you go, Mikey V's I, with I, us. I'm not the one. Yeah, I'm not the one. I'm not the one to talk about hair though. Um, I can't really, I can't really mention hair. My hair left a long time ago. I'm hairless. I'm a featherless dusk. Dusk? Duck. Like the stream for cuckolds. <laughs> you're you're going to give us a name. We're going to be branded. That's right. Duckolds. Yeah, Houdini knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Sometimes it's, uh, sometimes it's better than not. Should we put the link out? Oh my god! <laughs> but, I don't know how long. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep it up tonight. I've got a fucking headache. Um, Do you? Where'd you get a headache? Sorry? from? I think it might be from the steak. Really? I've never eaten so much. It's, I, well, no, it's probably not from the steak. I mean, it's probably just because I've fucking uh, I've been out and about the day, and I haven't, I haven't had, a, I didn't get as much sleep as I should last night. I haven't had a nap. That's what's wrong with us. I need me nap. I need me siesta. Is it a weird community here? I guess it is. I mean, we got all kinds of characters and, and personalities, but they all come together nicely. Yeah. It's when you've got it's when you get it's when you get a group of people. It's when you get a group of people who have got a common interest. 
that's when that's when like it's like it's it's the thing it's the because of if if the conversation or if like anything happens we can always bring it back to fragrance and then like it's like that's it's right. like a, yeah there's Heinz saying the fuck it's from the it's from the uh it's from the Fev de la Suisse. I'll tell you what it might be from there. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I'll tell you I, what it might be from right. He's got a point. It might be from the candle. I bought a new candle today. And if I burn candles for too long, I get a headache because I keep my door right, closed. That's right. that's right. Candles can give you a headache. That's right. Don't burn them for too yeah. long. Yeah, right. you're spot on that. That's do you know what it is? Now you've said that. I think that is what it is. Yeah. Um I feel all right though. It's not like it's not like a devastating headache like you had the other night. Like I can imagine, like the headache you had and the reason like would have been like awful. This isn't that bad. Uh, you're just supposed to burn them until the top top layer melts, and yeah. until it turns the liquid, and then put it out. But I think I think we've been very fortunate here for the amount of people that we don't get any trolls. I haven't noticed any trolling. Have you? No. But I, I don't. Um, I don't mean just today. No, I'm not, not, not like not nothing nasty. Nothing like with malicious intent. Nothing like sneaky or snidey or or like nasty or you know. We've had like a couple of people who have had to go, but like nothing, nothing like nothing like mean or evil. That's There's right. The link. Oh, God. There's the link. Who will join? Get Jeremy Hines on. Let's go, Jeremy. Jeremy, it's time. You get caboose on. Duck holds. Wonder who. Like a Jow. I know Jow's been Jow's Jow's been conquering the world. Yeah. Well, let's get Jow on. I'm just gonna That's get some more water. I would open my window now, but it's absolutely fucking Baltic outside. It's criminally cold outside. It's nearly June, man. Hailstones the other day, you know. Hailstones. There was an inch of snow. I swear to God, I swear this is true. There was an inch of snow on my car a couple of weeks ago. How is that possible? What is going on? If if we get Zhao on, we might be able to get Tara on at the same time and get her all giggly. Giggity. Get her G all giggity. Send us some cold water here, mate. I'm not the drunken uncle. I'm, um, I think... Um, we Brits love yeah, to complain. I don't think it's just Brits. I think it's humans in general. What's that? Humans love to complain. Oh, I, Britons talk about the weather. We always talk about the weather. Um, Brits love to complain about the weather. Yes. It is the weather, like. That was his other name. We were trying to figure this out, Rich Mitch. Colonel Flores, Rusk Mabajur, Victor. What happened to him? Is still is he still around? It's a shame he's gone. He was great, crack him. He's a good lad. Um, Curtis Island, which has no natural disasters. That's right. Here we're in a very, very lucky place. It's a, it's a, it's a. I was talking to my friend about this the day. That's like for the amount that was slate Britain. It's fucking we're very lucky when you consider like what's happening in Palestine or what you what's happening in Syria, like places in Africa where there's like food shortages and like famines and droughts and like like we don't live under communism, we don't live under Nazis. Um like we're living a pretty we're a pretty pretty fucking blessed place, really. Bloody hell. That's that fucking somebody coming to fucking Come, come to take you away with that bite there. Do you think with we can get Persile beef on stream? Beef Sorry? Do you think we can get Persile on stream? You might be able to one day. He likes he likes good behavior though. He likes people that he likes a, he likes he has a laugh, but he, he doesn't like it to get too. Yeah, I I'm think not, that I'm might... not sure he would like I'm not sure he would like like where we went sometimes. I think he would I think he would like blush. Yeah, he you know turned I mean? right. very... that's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. If you, if it was if it was strictly perfume you were talking about, yeah. But anything then, banter then you, off track, I don't know if he'd be okay with it. Yeah, I think some of the, have, he a, does have a, a sense of humor. He would just laugh it off. Yeah, yeah. He's not a he's not a he's like he's not like a prude or like uptight or anything like that. But he's no. no. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he wants to give that on the internet. 
personally isn't whack pack would annihilate and make gamma rays. What's that? Somebody saying personally is plus like times the whack pack would annihilate and make gamma rays. We'd be here. I'm sure we'd be happy to join. Worth a try, Eugene. You can reach out to him and say, yeah, he, he's done it. Yeah, this is some. Yeah, th- this is something Gonzalo's right. Gonzalo's got a point. He does a lot of that. I've even thought about getting in touch with Persley and being like, look, like you're doing streams with Max Forty, and it's going to come on top one day because he's fucking, he's no good. But it's his, it's his channel. I don't want to be like going around saying shit like that because it's not very nice. But I would definitely love does. to have him on. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There's I see the comment. Yeah. Yeah, he did a couple. He's done a couple of uh, splitting the out. Yeah, I've seen the videos he did with the other YouTuber. I don't think I'd want to do something like a top ten, you know, orgasmic fragrance list or something. Just have yeah. like a cat. Yeah, yeah, you'd be great for that. It's up for subs, that's why. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's trying to get some of the shine. It's a shame that, especially when the bloke he's trying to get fucking subs off bought most of them. Um, are the Udo pentagraphs here? Hello, Michelle. She's I think been here might a while. be wrong. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what? <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> That's just you know what I mean. I didn't know. Beef curtains. I miss beef curtains as well. Beef curtains was a great lad. Yeah, Nick um, Hill would be another good one. Nick Hill. Oh God, Nick Hill. He's another person who was like massively influenced us on. He's just somebody who like cracks on with his job and he's just great. See, he's massive, that's massive. I'd want to see do a top ten orgasmic fragrances is Tara. Tara and Zhao, maybe they can do a collaboration. That's right. That's right. That would be uh, deep. I don't think what people are aware of the whole sub buying thing, especially the brands giving away balls. Yeah, Rudy's right. I don't think a lot of people are aware of the whole buying subs thing. Um, the brands giving away, well, that's it. You see, a uh, Parfums to Molly, I mean, you're talking about Parfums to Molly. Parfums to Molly pulled out of that fucking, um, pulled out of a, a, an engagement with that YouTuber. Um, so that shows you the state he's in. Anyway, Max Husler. Yeah, Max Husler. You do a talk with Max Husler. Yeah, I'd get him on. I, I think yeah, Max I'd watch that. He's, he's quite chill. Would you ever speak to John Pegg? No. John Pegg would be really good to get on. But... Yeah. Sorry. Um, I I'm not in depth, you know. Just in passing, we may have said a few words, but I don't know him on a, a any kind of level. Yeah. It was more Mark who knew him because it was like more his era, you know, like 2011. Because that's when he launched his brand. He left YouTube. He felt like he couldn't. Um, he felt like he couldn't. Uh, he felt like he couldn't keep his YouTube channel up reviewing fragrances when he was making his own. I think that AC from- Sebastian would be a good one. Yeah, you know Sebastian, don't you? You speak. To I know. Sebastian I know him often. quite well. Yeah, I used to be a moderator in his uh, Facebook group many years ago. Yeah, Katie Puckrick. Yeah, Katie Puck. Katie Puckrick. Katie Puckrick had thirty thousand subscribers. Right. Wow. Katie Puckrick would be bigger. Katie Puckrick had 30,000 subscribers in 2010. Yeah, right? that's massive. Katie Puckrick would be, yeah, she would have like three or four million subscribers by now if she kept it up, at least. Yeah. Vladimir, we've had Dana on here before. We've had Dana, Dana and Salt did a video. Dana, did a video yesterday. Dana and Salt did a video. were on one with Joey Cannoli. Can you imagine that's that? Mental. It was madness. I had to remove the video. Really? Yeah. She did a video yesterday. She's getting trolled by someone. I um, heard a little bit about that. Can you go in, in more depth, in, in detail with what's going on? She pulled, I, she exposed somebody. She, said she exposed somebody for selling stolen merchandise. And that person didn't like it very much. And then started like, like 
getting her and other people like like started attacking her, started attacking Donna. Um and that she was like because she released a video yesterday saying like called whistleblowing. Okay. Um and she's basically called somebody out for selling stolen merchandise and that person hasn't taken it. Well as you wouldn't if you were stolen selling out stolen. from where I don't know. I'm only I'm only repeating like what uh Donna said. Um so she's really good, Donna. Yeah, she's she's um she's uh she's really good. She she spotlights stuff that's really rare. <laughs> like hyper rare. Stuff yeah. you've never heard of. Before. She talks about a lot of things I've never heard of. Yeah, she said it was more of a group rather than one person, that's right. But, but it takes a lot of balls for her to stand up and call somebody out on something like this. It's definitely got balls. You can tell. I hope she gets back up. I hope people like back her up on it because she's not she's not a liar. She's not the type of person to make I, something up. I definitely wouldn't take her as a liar. Yeah, she, Donna's the type of person that when she said something, I would just believe it until it was proven like otherwise. And frankly, even if it was shown to be otherwise, she would just be wrong. She's not a liar. Right. She has a very she, strong she, personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's spot on. Um, somebody, don't know what happened. Tom Ouch, one. Oh, yeah, I know uh, Tom. Um, I'm pretty sure he read a question from you in an older video. Yeah, I know Ouch, one. Oh, Ouch, one. Oh, is the British, like the oldest, him and Greggy boy. Of the oldest uh, British reviewers, and actually, Ouch One One goes back, back a little bit before Greggy Boy. I think he's been reviewing fragrances for well over ten years. Him, he's class. He looks so fucking young in his older videos. Who's that? Ouch One One O. You know oh, Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an OG. He's like the British. He's like the original British. Him and uh, yeah. Sentient Man as well. Yeah, yeah. He's got yeah, a good knows. channel. Yeah, he has got a good channel. He reviews their uh, ladies' fragrances. That's right. I like um, his taste. Yes, that's right. He loves his girl aunts, like his old girl aunts, like Samsara and shit. Can turn about family and being like, yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't want to cross Dana either. Yeah. Which is great. Um, yes, Arnold says, get Vassar on here. I, I you, wish. Like, I, remember, oh. I, re I remember Crystal saying that if you were to get in touch, with Jerry Vassar, there's a very good chance you would be able to get him on the channel if you tried a little bit. I'd have to harass you, him. Dude, I'm sure he's busy as hell. I'm sure he's busy as hell as well, but I'm sure as well, if you were to say to Jerry Vassar, remember me, fucking, I've bought a lot of your fragrances <laughs> and I speak very highly of girl on. Get on my channel, you bitch you. I'm sure he would. Yeah. Your brand yeah, ruined my know, life. Yeah. <laughs> you owe me just, an interview, fucker. Just just get in touch and just say, look, Thierry, like for old time's sake, how we get on me channel. Come on. We'll have a nice I time. Think, I, I think won't probably bother anything. him a little bit. But I don't want to be like I don't want to be a stalker, you know? Well, don't don't be like um <laughs> yeah, I, him, I, um, even, you know, I don't know, man. <laughs> Cause uh that's right. I did an open letter to him and I said that he didn't create any masterpieces. And then the next fragrance he released, he did an interview and he said, somebody once said, I don't have a masterpiece. I'm hoping this will be it. I don't know if he was referring <laughs> to me or not, but it kind of like set off a little bell in my head. Class. Awesome. That's absolutely class. He'd, uh, he loves to talk. He loves the attention. He loves, you know, the perfume business. Yeah. I don't know. Absolutely spot um, on, I see. Absolutely spot on the way it should be. Um, get him on. Get him talking. Get him a... Uh, Get him interviewed. I'm sure he would love it. I'm sure he would. Uh, I can uh, try. You know, the least I can do is try. Exactly. Exactly. But I, I can't even get I can't even get Zhao to come on. How am I gonna get Terry Wasser to come on? 
Um, I don't know. Has nobody clicked the link, or has, have only bad people clicked the link? You're not answering that. Are you there? I'm here. I'm having a drink of water, too. Oh. I smell like I've been decanting. And from everything, all I can smell is Toba Kalar. Oh, God. Do you think there's anything natural in those new in those new Dior Privés? I'll never call it whatever the new name is. I will never call them what whatever the new name is for that line. I will never call it that. It will always be the Privé collection. Maison Christian Dior, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Zhao is way better than Wasser. And actually, they're both really good looking, Zhao and Wasser. I'd love to see Zhao's uh, DM box. I wonder what that looks like. <laughs> I'm you want so to see? Yeah, I'd love to see all the pictures he gets sent to him. Zhao, tell us <laughs> from Tara, <laughs> from whoever. I didn't say that. From I'm Tara. just. Sure, I'm sure it's filled with goodies. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take everybody's advice about the candle, like. Um, Oh, Joao, Joao. Um, yeah, I do prefer uh, Christian Dior Privé as well. I don't know why they changed it. It's probably marketing. Maybe they can sell more bottles by calling it Maison. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Rudy. <laughs> yes. I'm sending Zhao pictures. Like the stream. More people like the stream. Like it twice. People aren't liking the stream enough. There's only 69 likes, 68 likes. Shall do you have a sister? <laughs> Did somebody ask that? Somebody's asked, yes. Yeah, or gone. Jane's up late. Hollow. Ciao. Or did Jane's up late listening to the stream? She's at work tomorrow. She gets up early as well. She set an alarm in case she fell asleep because she wanted it. She's always asking if we're streaming tonight. She's always asking, like, we talk, like, on the emails. But she hasn't yeah. got an instant messenger for some reason. And usually uh, we don't know for... Uh... Yeah, that's right. We don't usually know until, like, Guys, the last like 20 the minutes. Smash that love button. 69. Oh, look, we're at 69. How convenient. How Get convenient. another 69. Oh. Who will take us to seven? Good night, Audrey Jane. Oh, I've put her to sleep. Sorry about that. Oh, Yara wants to come on. The machine needs to be sacked. Zhao, come on and show us your DMs. Jack Dean Knight. Oh, no, oh sorry. Yara, are you coming on, Yara? All Yara, right. come on. Here's the link for Yara. Do you know what I did today? I scratched the back of my leg, right? And I cut myself. Like, I scratched, like, I must have had, like, a long nail or something, like, like on my hand, like, and I, like, sat down. I was like, ah, what's that? And then I fucking realized when I, when I uh, changed my pants on, I got in, and I was like, oh, my God. I was like, I've cut myself. That's I crazy. That. I it's fucking killing us as well. I, I woke up this morning and I had a scratch on my face here and it was still bleeding. I must have scratched myself in my sleep. Absolute nightmare. Caboose howling at the fact that I've cut me to the poacher. The poacher's fucking loving the fact that I've maimed myself. It makes it easier to poach the duck. I'm fucking, honestly, it's proper killing us. Like, I sat down on the chair when I was eating my steak and I was like, ah, what the hell is going on? I did it myself, Tara. In my sleep. Oh, who? I got it. I get oh, it. Never mind. Do I write the raps for Drake? No, but I make fun of my kids all the time because of Drake, Drake's rapping. They love Drake, and I'm like, it's it's kind of basic, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Somebody somebody ripped into us when when I was dogging. Somebody's like somebody scratched your face when you were out dogging. That's what happened. Oh, somebody's here. Uh oh. Everybody say hello to Yara 
And hang on, we got one other person. Oh my god. Gonzalo. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. Hi Yara. Hi Gonzalo. Hello. And the what's here or anything? What's it called? Got their time. Good, how are you? Hello? Is there anybody out there? Someone's listening to Gonzalo, we can't hear you. Yara, speak speak some more. We can hear Yara, but she ain't saying a whole lot. Yara's gone. Gonzalo, Yara's gone. We don't hear you. Gonzalo, we can't hear you at all, mate. Gonzalo, speak. Hello. Hello, Yara. Hey, can you hear me now? I hear you yes. now. Yes. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Duck, how are you? Uh, I'm all right, thanks. Uh, what? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Just one what are you doing, Yara? How have you been? Long time no see or hear from you. Yeah, well, life's been, um, you know, busy. Um, busy? Good busy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel busy. <laughs> good. Yeah. Um, Are you still in America? Yeah, I'm, good. I'm still in America. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, exciting. <laughs> do you anyway. have, uh, do you know how long, much longer you're going to be? Well, I'm hoping to stay here for a long time. I mean, I'm looking for a job around here, too. Like, okay. Like yeah. Very nice. How's Hills? She's good. I think she's listening to the stream. I think so. Yeah, she's right here, actually. Wait, hang on. You want to say hi? Hey, y'all. Wait. Hey, y'all. Oh, here. Say hi. Wait, hang on. Wait, where is your ear? <laughs> say hi. Hey. Where is your ear? Hi, Hills. Hey. Hi. Sorry, I'm cleaning up my car. How's it going? <laughs> it's going well. It's going good. Okay, great. Okay, I'm giving her back her headset. Okay. Well, nice. What are you two up to? Uh, well, she's cleaning uh, her car, and I'm just uh, sitting in the front yard. <laughs> how are you? How are you killing your time during the days? Uh, for me, or both of us? Yeah. No, for you. Like, what are you doing during the days while while Hills is working? Well. <laughs> I'm smelling things, yeah. <laughs> sample right. things, yeah. Well, that's not true, but um, I mean, I do sample things. I sprayed like fifty things on me today, but uh, that's not mostly what I do. Um, <laughs> I work out. I go for walks. I do stuff. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to do anything exciting. I, no, I'm. I'm still. I'm still working on things by myself, but. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's a long story. My, it's I work in music, so I'm always working. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Gonzalo, um, are you with us? Gonzalo is not with us. One second, I'm gonna bring somebody else on stream. Everybody, say hello to yeah, buddy. <laughs> Hey everyone! <laughs> Hello. Oh my god! Hello there. What's going on, Clark? Uh, so I see that um, I'm not the only one here. Hello, uh, who is joining us? We have Gonzalo, but I don't hear him. Hi, Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Gonzalo, try rejoining. Try Gonzalo, go Gonzalo, out and then come out. back in and see if it works. And then come back in. Yeah. It's just not working for him at all, bless him. Oh, there we go. What's up, Zhao? And what are you wearing, Zhao and Yara? Tell us what you're wearing. Oh, hi, Yara. Hi, Zhao. How are you? <laughs> okay, thank you. 
<laughs> I was seriously, I was ready to to go to sleep, but then I was keeping here. I was keep hearing the DMs. The please come in. I need. I need to. I need to go. I hear ducks in the background. What is that splashing noise? I hear water yeah. splashing. Is that Rich, or is that nope. Yara washing the car? <clears throat> so I'm outside. Oh, you know, I'm gonna go inside. Maybe that will help. Okay. Oh. Is that better? Do you still hear? Yeah, we hear you. I think it's just Rich um, pouring oh, water. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not pouring water at all. I'm lying in bed. I'm not doing a. I'm not doing anything. Maybe I think. I wonder if we can get Tara on now. Oh, my oh, she's already getting ready. Yeah, she's getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, is, is Zhao not the most handsome man in all of uh, Fragrance YouTube? No. I mean, yeah, even yes. with the glasses, he's still a stunner. Even with the no. glasses. <laughs> even with the glasses, man. The, these nerdy glasses. No, glasses are... I wear glasses. No. Just not <laughs> in public. <laughs> oh. Man, these no Can't imagine you with glasses. Gonzalo, are you with no. us? Nothing. Oh, oh yes. No. Oh. I don't hear anything. No, can't hear. Gonzalo, what are you doing? Have you muted yourself? Is there a button Maybe. to unmute? Yes, there is. Gonzalo, unmute yourself. You are not saying anything. Well, you are saying something. I just can't hear you, mate. No, still no. Zhao, you are the most handsome, <laughs> especially with the glasses. But Really? But Eva has something else to say here. Oh. I, I think no. we're going to have to have like an arm wrestle to settle it. <laughs> oh, it's on. But you know what? My vote goes to you, so you win. So my vote goes to you. Please. <laughs> You're too kind, my friend. No one loves the duck. <laughs> I love you. Maybe oh. if you're a little bit nicer. Wait, we heard it. I love you, duck. I love you. Yeah, oh! there, you there you go. Yes. See, you're getting love. Yes. How's it going, Gonzalo? Ah, uh, fine, fine. Finally, I can I can speak to you. Oh. Yeah, uh, hello. Now we lost Yara. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Well, hopefully <laughs> she'll be back. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, uh, so, Praskuska. I was. Um, I had the wrong setting. The wrong. The wrong mic setting. Uh, it was selected. Mm. Ah, I don't know. It's been. I mean, it's been uh, more than two years that I, I haven't practiced my my English. It's it's crazy. Where are you watching from? Uh, Argentina. Okay. Buenos Aires. Oh, okay. Cool. Awesome. So. Um, I've been reading a lot uh, from Fragantic. I've been listening a lot. I, I improved my my hearing from basically from videos of, of, of yours of of, of fragrances. Uh, but um, speaking is it's another it's another completely thing. Uh, right. It's another that you obviously yeah, you have to practice. But, uh, well, you're I doing think. quite well. We understand everything Definitely. you're saying. So yes. uh, applause <laughs> to you. Good job. <laughs> Just keep practicing. Yeah, yeah. I I would try to to be more on, on streams. It's yeah, a nice practice. That's great. Right. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Look, guys, uh, what what do I have? I I don't know why I had here in my in my desk. Is that gold man? Is that gold man? Yeah, it's gold man. Good yeah. job. And that's that's a huge dent in the nice. bottle. Uh, I'm I'm guilty for some de decanting. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> but but I, I I really use and I noticed. If, I don't know if you ever tried this. It's a it's a decant from Kalesh Vintage Kalesh from Hermes. Yeah. 
I've the, tried to look at the vintage. Right. This is a 1980 something bottle I, I used to have, and I sell it and I and I keep it some to test. But um, I I was remind me immediately this too, oh, uh, okay. which is which it makes sense because uh, it's uh, both are Kiro Bert uh, creations, right? Yeah. Even yeah. Th even this uh, the Amoash Gold is reformulated. Uh, Kalesh is a floral leather accord, isn't it? Yeah, but super uh, with full with up aldehydes in the in yeah. the opening. Right. Full with then florals, then in the dry down you get some sandalwood, some does gold dead. have aldehydes? Yes, yeah, it has. It has uh, I can PC, peace. Yes, quite PC. Yeah, terrible. funky, a bit funky, like very indolent jasmine. I mean, I love Goldman, but it's it's a bit hard to wear in daily basis. But I absolutely love it, actually. Guys, one second, I got to introduce. Oh. Yeah, buddy! Hey, hey. Yara's back. Hi, Yara. Hey, sorry, my phone died. So That's okay. <laughs> back now. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah. so Yara said she was wearing like 50 different perfumes and there's yeah. nothing else oh. to expect from a, an enthusiast. Yeah. Yara, have you, dis have you discovered anything new since uh, your time in the U.S.? What's the most fascinating thing that you've found since being here? What In general? In perfume wise. In perfume. Or in general, anything you want to tell us. And perfume, <laughs> not really. I mean, most of the shops are closed and stuff because, I mean, I was in New Zealand. New Zealand was open mm. and stuff. Um, but your nose was, you were very well versed in perfume before you came here. Oh, yeah. Like, you, you knew a lot of stuff already. What about culturally, cultural wise? Have you noticed any differences or are you adjusting to anything? Yeah, yeah, definitely huge culture shock. But um, yeah, I'm adjusting. I think. <laughs> so, I What's been like the hardest thing for you to adjust? Do you miss your family? I was by myself there. Okay. So um, I mean, my family's here too. I mean, Hill's family. So um, right. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know how you've been, America. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Oh! <laughs> She's gone. How's Finn? Finn's good. She, he's good. He's having dinner, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well behaved. Uh, for a four-year-old, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> nice. You know, you know what fixes everything is French fries. When yeah, my, happy uh, meal for when sure. My kids would act up. I would just get them some fries, yeah. and that would fix. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, so keep sure. that in mind, Zhao and Gonzalo. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> French fries fix everything. <laughs> okay. That's true. I, fries and nuggets. I nuggets. think even for adults, fries fix everything. Oh, yes, definitely. Fries can definitely make you feel better. That and chocolate. Chocolate, and yeah. I think I actually prefer chocolate. Me too. <laughs> Rice and <Right>. gold. <laughs> Brown or white, Rich? Brown. Brown, yeah. White white rice is very sticky. I don't like feeding the ducks white rice because it sticks to my hands. And afterward, when I'm done, it feels like – you remember when you were in grade school and you would put glue on your hand and then yeah. wait for it to dry to peal it off? That's how rice is. It's, it's thing. starchy <laughs> and it sticks to hands. Yep. I discovered this. Right. This brand. Ooh. Ilk. I have no idea. Yeah. What is I've, I've yeah. never heard of that. Never heard. I never. didn't either, but then I found this somewhere stashed somewhere in uh, Hill's uh, cabinets. So I <laughs> is she hiding it? Uh, <laughs> no, she wasn't hiding it. Um, so I'm wearing this one now, Virtuous. Um, Which one stands out for you? 
Um, Virtuous, the one I'm wearing. Okay. Tell it's, us about it. Um, I don't know, it's citrusy and green and like, um, I don't know, it's refreshing. It's I just like fresh. It's not because it's really hot out here, so it felt appropriate for today. I don't know. Maybe it's just the weather that's making me um, want to wear it. Is there a perfumer behind those? You know, I haven't researched the brand yet. I just found it. I found this and I just wore it. <laughs> I told you I have 50 things on me. So uh, that's the main one. So it's on my neck and arm. So, yeah. Ice cream. Nice. Ice cream. Wait, I'm going to drive down to Kentucky and make them stream. Wait, what? She's just one state over, isn't she? Yes, yes. Xiao, I think you should make your way to Kentucky. <laughs> we'll all meet you there. Well, uh, that or maybe I will have a visit. There you go. Yes. <laughs> you guys discover anything new? I mean, it hasn't been that long since we saw Zhao last. Gonzalo yeah, has cool. been on here before once. Uh, on a on a live stream? Yeah. No, I think I I had uh, the same trouble with the with the mic and so on. And I I wasn't even able to 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 speak. Uh, I I wanted to show you some pretty things I had from uh, last year. I don't know if I, we can see. You. You can see What's it. that? It's an ambergris tinted. Okay. Uh, wow. From uh, La Via del Paco. Uh, Tell us about it. So I I I, I brought this because uh, you um, we were talking the other day about uh, some songs. <laughs> I I think it was right. Uh, and I I affirmed that um, it didn't have any or at least it had very little natural ambergris because it uh, it doesn't seem the, the effect that it it, it gives. Uh, right. It does the same as uh, as the, the natural one. This is most um, likely uh, a civet civeti type of of okay. of smell. Like uh, it obviously it gives lift to the to the composition, but um, uh, not in a sparkling. Uh, I don't know. It it's it's not the same. Uh, at least from this one. Right. I have but tried. It, is that straight up ambergris, or is it mixed with something else? No, I believe it's a it's a tincture. Uh, I don't know how um, what percentage it is, but uh, I think one, two, three percent of uh, natural ambergris and the rest alcohol. Right. Yeah. I mean, nice. Ensemble's Mythique is probably mixed. I with was thinking the same. It's in there. <laughs> And uh, yeah. it's it's just there to give it lift, really. I don't know if you're gonna yeah. be able to pick up the uh, the, the ambergris, but I mean, if Terry Wasser's saying it's natural, I'm gonna believe him. I have no reason to doubt him. I don't know. No, no, maybe it may have a, a, a small proportion. Of yeah, a small, mm -hmm. which is enough. You don't need a whole lot in there to make the perfume glow. And that's really the job of ambergris. To give the perfume some radiance. Yeah, um, I think it's more like um, uh, an accord, more than uh, a just the 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 single molecule, the single. You know what I mean? It it, it may be a, a mixture of ambrox, uh, aldehydes, and, and so on and so forth. So we are changing. You uh, have. Like a football replacement. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. Hello. New phone. Who this? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's not Google, so, you know. Hey, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, <laughs> Tell us, what was the most interesting dog you groomed today? Today. Um, I groomed a Mastiff Chow Mix that is losing all his hair. That was nasty. Um Are they aggressive? Oh. Because uh, Chow no. can be aggressive and Mastiffs can be aggressive. Yeah, no, it, he was fine. Um, yeah, most 
a lot of the breeds that people think are going to be aggressive are usually great for grooming because like groomers have worked with them for a long period of time. Um, and, you know, the parents and stuff have worked on them in order to be able to have them in apartments and that sort of thing here in the city. Um, it's the Chihuahuas and Yorkies you have to work out, you have to watch out for. Small they're just, dogs. Yeah, they'll take out of Little antichrists. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah, they're really harsh are. little dogs. Yeah. Sorry, I look like poop. I just came from the gym, so. But. Yeah. Well, I bet you smell great. I think I smell like wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh and sweat and anal glands, so it's fine. Oh, nice. Nice. No, not at all. my anal glands today. Uh, and, um, so you know that's where your or, or your G spot is, right, Rich? Not mine. I'm oh, a dog, yeah. not a dog. <laughs> oh yeah, it's there. It's something like seventeen percent of Caucasian people actually do have um, anal glands. It's like something that has you know gone away over time. I am a Caucasian duck. So that's a that's a might be a thing. You'll always be like a mallard. Give yourself a little <laughs> Yeah. You have glands. Did you squeeze many anal glands today, Hillary? Uh, so every every dog that um, that that I groom, I at least check their anal glands. So yes, I, I squeezed okay. a number of anal glands today. Good loss. Did you wash your hands? Did you get any major and did you get any major excretions? Uh, you I had one, one that came out riddled. So other than that, yeah, where it looks like cottage cheese, when it never mind. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good time. Yeah, but decant that, decant that, and sends them over. To <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's, I mean, it, it's what castorium is and stuff. Yeah. It's all anal gland stuff. It's vintage. <laughs> yeah. So like fresh, like fresh dog anal glands. For those who don't know, it smells kind of like fish. Um, it's like a, it has like a sour metallic thing to it. It's, it does. No, I'm so oh, alive. one girl. Yeah. <laughs> Have, you this? Have you grown to enjoy the smell? No, no. I've had it oh. in my mouth. I've had it in my hair. I will never enjoy the smell. Oh, <laughs> what, what did you put in your mouth? It smells like the night. Nice. Oh, great. It probably does. I mean, your your fingers don't need to go inside to squeeze them. You can squeeze it from the outside, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah. So, so I I've had people ask if I can do internal expression, but um, I leave that for the veterinarians because I don't want um, any bacteria or something from me to cause an infection in a puppy. Yeah. So I just stick with external. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I used to squeeze my dad my dog's. Just from the outside, and it's nasty, but I think it, it's it, it's better for the dog too, and they don't smell as bad either. Yeah, right? so it's mm. something that so large breed dogs really should be able to do it for themselves. However, um, by that's why they scoot, isn't it? Mm -hmm, that's why they scoot, they're supposed to be able to finish expressing at the end of a bowel movement, um, but. Uh, over time, with the way that we've domesticated breeds and like, like say a poodle, they are basically nothing like a wolf was originally. So sometimes they've lost their ability to express their own anal glands. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Well, and there you go. You learned so much. The more you know. The more you know. Yeah. You need to start tincturing yeah. those, Hillary. <laughs> I wonder if that would cause anybody like some sort you know, of. Happiness. If there was a market for it, I'm sure people would be doing it. I, I would. If like there it. was a market for it, I would have so many monies now, like so many. I, I I'll just put a bottle. I, I mean, some of these dogs you can do it every other day. Really, it, it builds up that fast. Um. So breeds like hounds, and uh. How, like scent hounds especially will build it up really fast. So like your dachshunds and beagles and such. Um, and then also breeds that are very far from the original wolf, like poodles and shit. Yeah, they make anal glands really quickly. Like my standard poodle, hers are disgusting. Um, and I have to do them like every three weeks or so. But um, my boxer German shepherd mix, I have never had to check hers. They're fine. So yeah. The more you know. There you go. I want a dog. I want a small dog. Like, a, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to rehome one, but I want a schnauzer. And I don't know if I'll be able to find a specific dog 
So I, I actually, I had a giant schnauzer she, who passed away last year. She was, oh, her, 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 sorry. sorry, she was like 16 and a half when she passed away. That's a good age. Yeah, I, yeah. I love giants, yeah. but um, I like standards as well. Minis, they have, um, you know, little dog syndrome, like big personalities, wow. loud mouths. Isn't but, that a result from the, of the owner? Um, because so the owner I, lets them get away with that? It can be, yes, but also certain breeds like terriers are more likely to bark anyways because it's part of their, it's what they yeah. were bred for was to the alert. Ladders. Yeah, so like, yeah, so to alert people that there's something that they, uh, some sort of pest that they need to rid the world of. So, um, yeah, so they will bark more naturally, but I mean, obviously if you train them really well, they, um, they'll get better, but it still might not be perfect. Yeah, just like a little apartment dog. I don't have the, I love giant schnauzers. They look so regal to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they use them for police dogs in Germany. Yeah. But I don't have the space for a giant. They're they're like couch potatoes. Mine just would sit and drool on the couch all day. It was disgusting. I had to have like a special waterproof blanket for where she laid. But uh, she was cute. Yeah. My Norfolk carrier was like it is. <laughs> nice. I do love Norfolks though. Yeah, Norfolks are nice too. I like Airedales as well. I love the coarse hair yeah. on the, on the carriers. Yeah, mini schnauzers, um, a lot of people think that they are supposed to be like that thin hair, um, but they're not. That's just oh. poor breeding. They're supposed to be coarse as well. It's very like coarse. Yeah. Um, and, and, what, about, what about a Lakeland Terrier? Because it's a small terrier, the same size as a the, small, the same size as a mini schnauzer, but it looks like an Airedale. I don't think I know what a Lakeland is. Yeah. I, I like Wheaton oh, Terriers yeah. as well. Oh, I like Wheatons. A Wheaton is the same size as a um, as a standard schnauzer, so the middle size. Yeah. Yeah, they're really nice looking. Yeah, their coat is obnoxious though because it it mats a lot easier than like the coarse coats will. Um, but do you do any of you others have dogs? No, Gonzalo, no, or, no, 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 no. I I don't have unfortunately. I would love to have a German Shepherd. Uh, love them, but uh, well, unfortunately, I'm still living in an apartment, so like I can't have like a big size dog. But um, uh, well, maybe someday. Maybe yeah. someday. Yeah. it's it's a it's a, it's a bit cruel to me uh, having a I don't I don't know if a dog but uh, a cat in an apartment. Uh, yeah, I I live in the second floor, so it it must be uh, inside the department the whole day, whole his whole life. <laughs> I mean. It, it, it doesn't seem quite fair to me. Uh, I mean, a lot of cats sleep like 18 hours a day. So, yeah. Yeah. So they're not really missing too much, typically. Um, yeah. But, yeah. For puppies, especially for people who are gone for long periods of time during the day, it's definitely more difficult to, um, to have a new one at home. Yeah. Sorry. What? Um, oh. Sorry. Oh, my son of the day is Louis Vuitton's afternoon swim. It was uh oh. How do you like oh, it? Yes. It's fruity and fun. I it reminded me a lot of um Creed's Aqua Florentina, but um oh, yeah, Yara disagrees with that. But um also I haven't smelled Aqua Florentina in a while, but it gave me the same vibe. But, yeah, it was just fruity and fun. Not I, I don't know that I would pay uh, Louis Vuitton prices for it. Or Creed prices, but 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 Yara for that, so it's fine. Does it smell synthetic? Uh, she says not at all. I think it does. It kind of makes me think of like um, like what is that called? A lot of like Alfa Super. But, but um, okay. What? But the smell smells like Oh. Yeah, she said it doesn't come off as like synthetic orange, the, the orange themselves, or like the, the fruits that are in it themselves. Smell Does it smell like a swimming pool at all or like water? No. It's, no? No. I mean, I, if you said it was supposed to smell like a drink you'd have by the pool, I'd believe it. Okay. But yeah, okay. it's something like a, I don't know why they called it that. That's silly. <laughs> Rich, Rich never finished telling us about Eden Rock from two hours and 14 minutes ago. I <laughs> It just, smells like old lady hand cream. It's just, it's very, it's very, it's very creamy. It's very soft. It's a little bit powdery. It smells like a, it smells like a thinned out Dior version of Prada Amber Pour Homme, um, without the tanginess of saffron. 
it really does just smell like like cream hand cream i think um very bland very nice for an, for an older lady i think um not 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 a dior privé for me um if that's the standard of what they're bringing out now in the dior privés i'm yeah what well, which one are you about? that's eden rock it's a the new release one it's a new release yeah Ooh. Oh, and the switch. Oh, right. yeah, magic. Oh, hello. <laughs> when did you learn magic? Room? <laughs> Whoa. Have you talking? smelled Eden Rock, Yara? No. I really want to. I haven't smelled to, to Bad Color as well, and I really want to. Do you like Dior Privé? Yes, I have Espahan, Bois d'Argent, um, Ombre Nuit, Spice Blend, and Rouge Trafalgar. These are the okay. ones that I have. Do you like Rouge Trafalgar? I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I like it too. <laughs> it's good. It's fun. It's a fun smell, really. Are Are there any that you don't like? Not from really. the privé. No. Um, they're all good. Right. Um, they're all wearable. They're soft. Um, even the oud ones, like maybe the new. What is it? The purple. purple oud. One? Yeah, purple oud. I mean. Yeah. It, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's but not okay. worthy of a Dior Privé name. No. Like, that should be an honor, I think. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think, Gonzalo? Uh, I don't have access here to, to Dior Privé. So I tested, I think, one or two only. Uh, we don't have uh, any, any retailer uh, that carries uh, Dior Privé. So it's it's a bit difficult to, to to get your hands on one of them. I don't know how, how much are they going for the those those Dior Privé? Ooh. I think I, I can't remember what they are in Canadian dollars since they've gone up, but in US they're two hundred and fifty bucks for hundred and twenty five oh, mil. One hundred and twenty five. Actually, I, I don't remember uh, in euros, at least here in Portugal, I don't remember the price tag. I do remember that I tried Purple Oud and um, yeah, it didn't impress me at yeah. all. Are there any that you do like? Uh, Udispan, of course. Everybody uh, seems to like that one. Yeah, although I slightly prefer Oud Palau because I think it's a bit more funky and more challenging than uh, yeah. Udispan. And I hear um, that a lot as well. I think Richard yeah. is with that too. <laughs> Yeah, I much prefer I much prefer Oud Palau. I think Oud Palau is more um, it's more full. What it's, is it? It has it's the like, tobacco uh, underneath. I, I think it's great. Yeah, the the Oud my body. Palau's a lot more sort of um, consistent. Yeah, like I Oud think Espahan, that's Oud Oud Espahan mm -hmm. changes. Like it, it changes a lot more, like between batches and stuff. And it's airier. Like it's softer. It's it's. I prefer wearing yeah. Udas behind, but I I I understand why um, Ud Palau is more loved because because us as freaks we like to have thick yeah. <laughs> yeah. thick smell. But do you, it, yeah. do you like the thick perfumes as well, Yara? Yeah, what she said. I like it thick uh, for sure. Double. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel left out. I feel like I'm all on my own here with my very Lightless and watery and transparent perfumes. I love those too. Do ya? Yes. Uh, Most of well, uh, that's a lie. Half of my collection is uh, thick, and half of it is uh, airy and transparent. Right. It's I not that I don't wear the thick ones, because I mean, look, you know my collection, and I have tons of that heavy yeah. perfumes. But given the choice, I would rather wear something airier. Exactly. I like I like yeah. the restraint. What about you two guys? Gonzalo, you like thick, lightweight? I have both. Uh, I think I, I like both. I, well, uh, the controversy I'm starting here is I don't like uh, Elena Elena's work. I I can't. Okay, see you later. <laughs> we can't have that. No! <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> 
Yeah. You're good. Oh, Don't, yeah. I'm not offended. <laughs> Okay, why why don't you like Elena? Uh, I think he does florals, or at least uh, for me, for my nose. I think he he does florals in a way that I perceive them too too harsh, uh, too um, I don't know. But to uh, he does lots of greens, greens and florals too harsh, too um, I don't mean synthetic, but they, he does they, a lot of synthetics. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's been criticized for using too many synthetics from other perfumers. Yeah. It's not that it's, I mean, ninety something percent of of perfumes are uh, are from synthetics, but uh, his style, his style, his use of of synthetic uh, compounds in florals is that uh, I I feel them quite quite harsh, to be honest. I have Iris Yukoye, I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's really interesting. Uh, I mean, it's something I, I never smelled, but the opening, the just vegetal accord, that, uh, so it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Um, if you like Iris, Paprika Brazil is actually a better Iris perfume than Iris Yukoye. So uh, I tried it. Yeah, I tried it. It was quite weird too. <laughs> yeah, it is quite uh, weird. It's very it spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. it's very much in in. It's very aligned with uh, his work. If you're familiar with his his kind of trademark that he has, it, it fits in very very nicely. Mm. I have yet to try Queen Bunch. Uh, it everyone says it's great. It's great. It's great. I haven't tried. But, That's uh, something else. I I I will have to blind by it because um, uh, I don't I don't think I can have the access to to a tester or to test it. So yeah, I I'm on the fence with that. What about you, Zhao? What's I I get the feeling you like thick as well. Oh, of course, of yeah. course. Uh, <laughs> yes. Thick yes. Uh, give me some thickness. Uh, but um, no, I also like when I'm in the mood. I also like my past pastels yeah. and uh, my butteriness uh, and my <laughs> pastels are the and best my... for night. They're so warm and cozy and comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I love Iris in the first mm. place. And um, uh, but usually I prefer thick perfumes, more dark and opulent. Uh, fragrances but uh, again when i'm in a mood i want some the uh, freshy actually talking about freshies uh, i'm in a fence with uh, lise Méditerranée from uh, frederick mal how is that have you smelled it uh floral uh salty a bit aquatic i had actually rich. had it in my top spring list with rich in the live stream i don't know it was probably a month and a half ago I like it. I guess so. Mm -hmm. um, let me get my bottle to remind me. Do any of you guys know Lise Mediterrani? I know it. I wish I own it. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I really, I like the entire line from Frederick Mall. Oh, yes. Honestly. Like, <laughs> uh, Can't go wrong with no, any no. Mall. <laughs> nah. I still want, I think I want Rose Aquir first and mm -hmm. then. I need carnal flower in my life. Oh yeah. And so you were saying yesterday I caught your comment yeah. about Rose and Queer yeah. that you did not like it at, at first, and then it took you what a year to get I, on. Okay, so I wanted to not like it. Basically. You you wanted to not like it yeah. because okay, <laughs> like that you're coming. That's forward, interesting. Being honest. <laughs> yeah, I just I don't know, but um. So what I did, I went out with my friend and I sprayed it on her and I just enjoyed it all day. Um, and then I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't say anything. I, it didn't smell like crows and queer at all. Obviously it smelled like, um, vegetal. Yes. Yeah. Green, yeah. Salty. Yeah. And then I forgot about it and then I went back and I sprayed it on myself again and I liked it. Like that was like six months later. 
So every time I visit the shop, I spray it on me and now I just want it because it's something that smells great on me. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So right off the bat, it's it's not thick. It's very airy and watery. Mm -hmm. I get something fresh and springy. And then it's a little bit dewy. And you get the florals in the background. Um, lily, uh, it's a spicy ginger lily. And then you're going to get musks and vanilla. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's been a while since I tried the Lise Méditerranée. And um, that's why I was, uh, and I am curious to revisit it. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I still, I think I still prefer music for a while. I'm oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would, mean, I would choose music that, for a while first. Oh, really? Okay. A completely different perfume. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Leaves that is juicy. strictly for me springtime. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear this mm -hmm. in any other season. In fall okay. or winter, yeah. Not even in summer. It might be too heavy for summer. It smells like the color white. Yeah, you get. Oh, okay. It's probably the white floral. It's a meaty. It's yeah. a meaty lily. It is. Yeah. There's okay. probably it's, some it's, gardenia in here as well. Interesting. I, no, I absolutely love the juiciness of that pineapple in music for a while. Jeez. Yeah. So yeah. Good. What happened to Rich? Is he gone? He's Rich bailed. He bailed out. That was quick and, and so intrusive. Abrupt, yeah. I didn't even recognize. <laughs> All I see is the I still see the duck in the top corner here. Right right over there. Next uh yeah. next to Joe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was quick. Yeah, Eau de Magnolia is really good, but I just get mostly citrus from it for um, spring and summer. That might be more versatile for spring and summer. Hmm. I don't remember how that one smells like. Guys, have you tried this one? Do you recognize it? Yes, I have a bottle. Scent of the day. What? Yes. What is that? That uh, Coriolan. Coriolan, that's right. Mm. I okay. I revisited this one. I, I didn't pay any attention when I tried it. I think it was in a, in a, in a very good uh, uh, state, the, the bottle I, I tried before. But this is really nice. I mean, uh, it reminds me a bit of Derby. Really? Uh, love, love yeah. That. I tried side by side. It's not as as mossy as Derby, but uh, it has the same sheep uh, right. leathery. It's a bit. I I get some some aquatic nuances from this one. Right. I don't know where where, where it's coming from, but it has it has some freshness, some some sparkle. It's really nice. I mean, old old school masculine sheep. Yeah. But very green. Very. F for yeah. the floor. Yeah, really nice. Really Pretty nice. rich and spicy. Never heard of that one. Uh, from what house? That's from Guerlain. So if you know oh, okay. um, Lame Den Hiros, it's kind of the same perfume, or at least they, they're they described as the same. Oh, OK. Yeah, uh, Joe, it was uh, 1998, I think. Uh, it was a mm -hmm. commercial flop because releasing oh, okay. the masquerade oh, uh, okay. in 98 it wasn't is it still available in the in, in, in this yes, in, yeah. in the bottle that gonzalo has no it was only out for a year before they discontinue yeah buddy oh. <laughs> <laughs> he went for a swim where'd you go i just went to eat some rice <laughs> Of course. <laughs> I was eating some rice. Not white rice, though. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Why? You're getting tired. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I mean, I might bail next time. Yeah. I might what, bail 12, soon and stay away. 12 30. It's half 12. Yeah, it's half 12. Yeah. Here as well. <laughs> so very tired. Oh. What were you talking about? Talking about Coriolan and Lame Dunhiros. And rose, yeah, and your, your, your favorite perfume. I've got Coriolan. I might wear it tomorrow. Now you've mentioned it. 
Um, I was going to get a huge bottle, but I thought better of it. Um, I think it's good, but I think it's. I, I feel like he just sort of like dialed it in. I think he. I don't think he. I don't think it was like a particularly new, fresh perfume or anything when he made it. Um, it's good and it's well made and it's got good ingredients and it's better than anything that's out today. But I'm not sure I would. I, I wouldn't go on my way to get like. I wouldn't spend a lot of money on a vintage bottle. Put it like that. It's so dry and okay. spicy and woody. Very green. Yeah. It's like it smells like green woods, cypress, vetiver, patchouli, yeah. even green spices. Classic. classic, classic masculine, classic girl on masculine. That's right. Um, but quite herbal also, aromatic herbal, herbal. Yeah. The fuck, duck curry. Yeah, I, I think not. <laughs> we'll be having duck curry. <laughs> Rashkovka's watching it and it's 2 30 a.m. her time. That's intense. Damn. That's commitment to commitment to the cause. Jonathan really? recently got lame and he likes it. And uh Tara wants some duck as well. Or loves <laughs> duck. Spicy duck. I will make you lay an egg. <laughs> I'll make Tom lay an egg. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wow! I mean, Damn, that that was that, that's you bad, Doc. You bad. That was intense. <laughs> oh, I'm like a toasty cinnamon bun. I'm all wrapped up. No, <laughs> no. Please do continue, Rich. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Rich Rich usually starts off the streams and he's got like a million things to say and he never shuts up and he, he's like an energizer bunny. Yes. Or duck, energizer duck. And then by the end, he's just like so exhausted and he disappears, he fades into the night. <laughs> That's right. I just then, waddle off. I just waddle yeah. off into the night. <laughs> just to do my duck business. <laughs> we just start here. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for he sure. starts playing That's with this true. magnetic cap. As soon as we start to hear this, yes, we know that it will fade. <laughs> That's right. I wonder how ducks sleep. Ducks, I always wonder that sleep? too. Do they yeah, sleep? Like, do the ducks sleep on the side, or do they sleep do they in sleep water? In... No, they, they sleep. They, yeah, they, they sleep do. in the water, and they're. Um... No, that's not true. With their butts up? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. Don't believe me. No, I'm kidding. Ducks, ducks sleep upside down. Mm. Just Lovely. like bats, yeah. Water bat. A water bat. Yep. <laughs> I've got a big, with me webbed feet. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right. I am actually going to go this time. Good evening to you. Good night to you all. Hope everybody in the chat has a nice night as well. I'm going to All sleep. Right, okay. Talk to you soon. Thanks for coming on. Night night. See you, Gonzalo. Good night, Good Good night, night. Rich. Yeah. Bye, Rich. Night. Sure. Wow, now that he's gone. And there he goes. <laughs> Flying away. We I, I'd love to watch him like without him knowing that we're watching just to see what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Creeping him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he's doing? Brand <laughs> perfume? <laughs> Bitching about reformulations. Oh, the most definitely. <laughs> well. Um, I don't, okay, I think I need to go too. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. gonna go out too. I'm gonna go and feed my ducks. It's it's time. I don't want to be out too late. I want to get out before the the sun goes down. That way, I can at least see them. But um, yeah, this was great, though. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming on, Gonzalo. Uh, thank, thank you, you. thank you, so Zhao, Yara, Chat. Uh, you guys are welcome back anytime. Chat, thank you so uh, much. You. It's been a pleasure, and I uh, hope you guys were entertained. And we'll see y'all soon. See ya. Have a good, good one. Hit that like, guys. Out. Smash that love button. Bye, guys. Duck holds. Duck holds.